Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. I hope I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So, yes, how sir. many of you have solved the mock test? Like, how many of you have given the mock test? No one? Yes, sir. I solved. Okay. Great. I solved, sir. Okay. So, is there any difficulty in the mock test? Like, any question you didn't understand or anything? Okay. Sir, I have also solved the um, mock. Mm, okay, great. So today, what uh, today we are going to discuss the mock test question. So all the questions we can uh, solve in this session. Okay, and then if you have any doubt, like any of the week, then you can ask. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow we have one more session that is uh, four to six. So in that session, uh, we'll quickly revise all the four week concept. Okay. But yeah, uh, for, for this course, based okay, is okay. just all the questions. Uh, okay. 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 So okay. let me share my screen now. Okay. So is firstly, screen, we are doing the mock in this session. Yes. Do you have specific okay. doubt in any of the topic? Yes, no, sir. If you have uh, any doubt in any of the topic or concept, that you can tell me. No, sir. I, I think, I think you discussed the mock, uh, then all the concepts of the question should be clear. Yes, yes. That's what right. I'm saying. Discussing them. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Mm, good evening. Um, I had a doubt in a question in la, la, week four graded assignment. Is that? Possibly okay, so I first we'll discuss this mock test, then we'll go for a great assignment or practice assignment okay. question. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so this is question number one, right? So, so the first question is the, the following pseudocode is executed using the score data set. What A will represent at the end of execution? So, a simple question. So, here A equals to zero. So, we have initialized the variable A equals to zero while table one has more rows right so this while loop will execute unless this particular condition is false okay so false in the case like this all the rows has been uh, checked right so read the first row x in table one what is the condition if x dot gender equal equals to m so equal equals to sign means we are comparing right we are checking whether this gender is equals to m or not right and equal to sign means assigning operator right this is assigning assigning the particular value so this is used for assigning operator and equal to equal to means we are generally checking it is comparison operator okay comparison operator okay so here we are checking gender is equals to m or not and city town equals to equals to chennai so with the city equals to chennai and gender equals to m then what we are doing a equals to a plus x dot mathematics so what's what this will do x dot mathematics it will add up the mathematics mass for this particular condition right so what this A will give me at the, at the end of execution? Sum of mathematics sum marks of mathematics so marks of male, male from Chennai. From Chennai. Yes. So That's sum right. of mathematics marks, but what is the condition for a male student at gender equals to M and from Chennai City? City right? is equal to Chennai. Yes. Yeah. So this thing, uh, so this thing will get from this A, right? And how this code is working? So it will take first one particular row. It will check for that particular row. What is gender? If gender equals to M, then it will check for city equals to Chennai. If any one of the condition is not matched, then what we do? We are not going to execute this one because we execute if block only when this particular condition is true, right? Yes. So when this condition is not true, and, then we are not going to execute also anything. Here end operator is present. Both yeah. are true, then we execute so, the code. Yeah, so and operator means both the condition must be true, right? So true and true uh, will be true, right? If any one, if any one of the condition is false, then simply uh, it is false. Okay, so this particular condition is false from here to here. So what we do in that case, we will move that card to table two, and then we'll go for a next iteration. Then we'll read a uh, one more row from a table one and see whether this particular condition is satisfied or not. And according to that, we are going to sum up the mathematics marks, right? 
So this is how this code is working. And at the end of execution, we'll get the sum of mathematics marks of major student who is from Chennai, right? So correct answer is option number B here. Okay, any doubt in this particular question? Anyone? No. Okay. Great. No, no, sir. It is very easy. Yeah. No, sir. So question number two, uh, simple, right? So here we'll only yes, we are taking the data type. What about this? Yes. A two equals to two, or this one? True, sir. How true? Here the OR operator means two inverted. So, so this is two no, equal to two. Equal to is not a comparison operator, right? It's assign no, assign no, no. operator, right? Not the false. Invalid. This is invalid. This is invalid. Right? So two equals to two. Or but yeah, okay. If I ask only for this particular condition. Then I can say two is not uh, greater than three. Then it is false. But this you can see two equals to two. So this is not a valid expression, right? So this is not yes. correct. So it is invalid expression. What about this? It's a false. 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 Yeah. false. Because this is comparison operator, right? So we are checking whether two equal to equal to two or not. So this is true. So true. But and the second one is greater wrong. than three. False. Yeah, that is false. So true and no, false sir. is basically false. So it will be false. three, right? What about this? It's a false. This is false. No, this is no, that is invalid. Uh, invalid. True or false? Invalid. 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 Yeah. invalid. This will only come to invalid, picture when we have a boolean output, right? And when we get a boolean output in terms of comparison operator, right? So whenever we are comparing any two. Uh, values then we can get a boolean output right? is true or false but this is invalid expression so this is also one right what about this sir how to invalid sir how to identify the invalid expression you are adding false. integer and the string yeah. it is invalid yeah so can you add two plus a string because two no is sir here, right so we cannot mm -hmm. add so this is invalid expression right Again, yes one. what about this uh no, true true because greater than or equal to sign is there, right? So two is equal to two. That is true. So so basically, one more time. True. sorry. Option D. Can you explain one more time? Option D, right? So it is yeah. two plus, but inside the quotation it is mentioned two, right? So this will be considered as string or character. Okay, one, only one thing is there, so we can say character also, right? Character. But Sir, can we option. add two plus A? Can we do? No. This is, option D has to be. Uh, 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 false, no? This one, C, 2 equals to yes, 3. Sir. No, no, this is an assignment operator, right? Not a comparison operator. Equal to equal to the comparison yeah, yeah. operator. So yeah, this yeah. is invalid expression. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, please explain the assigning. Assignment operator basically is equal to sign only. So I'm saying A equals to 2. It means the value of A is 2 of this particular variable. When I say A equal to equal to 2, it means I am checking whether the whether the value of A is equal to 2 or two not. 2 or not. So in this case, I will get the answer as a Boolean output, right? True or false. But here we are assigning. So here the value of A is 2. But here I am checking the, whether the value of A is 2 or not, right? It's a difference. So, yeah. Just as yes. sir, how to identify the two values are invalid expression or false? Invalid expression is simply uh, see, just remember this. This is a comparison operator, right? So invalid expression will come. Yes. So for example, this one. So you cannot add a string and a number. So this is basically invalid. Also, you cannot compare this two equal to three. What is this two equal to three? Right? Doesn't make doesn't make any sense, right? So that's okay, it. you can say it's invalid. Okay, so you're you're assigning the value three to two. That is yes. it is invalid. So assign the value of yeah uh, two to three. Yeah, you can say yeah that is invalid expression, right? Okay, so question number three. The following pseudocode is executed using the library data set. At the end of execution, A captures maximum number of pages right, of a book which is written in the language other than English. So just read the question carefully. What we need to find out? A captures the maximum so number of question, pages. Yes, sir. Yes, but let me explain. Okay. So A captures maximum number of pages of a book which is written in language other than English. So when I say other than English, it must that that particular language. So any uh, for any words, any language, 
must not be equals to english right so it will be like this right english and we need to find out maximum number of pages so for that we need to find out the code right we need to fill out the code so let's go uh, through option wise so first if i use this option number a if x dot language equals to english no right this is not my requirement my requirement is other than english so option a is not correct yes, what about option number b b is correct sir. b is correct b is correct first condition is fine but what about this one can i get a maximum number of pages a yes sir yes yes sir so how this is working so suppose initially the value of a is what zero right zero and it will get in, uh, updated yeah and suppose this condition is true for example for upcoming uh, uh, example uh, for uh, data and we are getting 23 as a pages 27 as a pages or 21 as a pages so these three are there so what will happen for the first row so 23 is greater than zero yes that is true and i will store the value of a to 23 Right. In the next iteration, again, I will check for this particular uh, condition. Language is not equal to English, but in the next row, 27. So I will compare the value of x dot page. Now, current value is 27. And my, uh, from the previous iteration, the value of a is 23. So 27 is greater than 23. Yes, that is true. So I will again uh, update the value of a to 27. And in the next iteration, I will go check. OK, the first condition is correct. And my second condition is what? x dot page is equal to 21. Spots. So here 27, uh, sorry, uh, 21 is greater than 27. No, that is false. So no. true and false, basically false. I'm not going false. to execute this one, right? So at the end of execution, what I'm getting 27 that is basically a maximum number of pages, right? So option B is correct. What about C? C will store the minimum number of pages. That's why it is not correct. Yeah. So this will give me minimum number of pages, right? Minimum. So option C is not correct. Option D is not correct because again equal to and again is not equal number. to sign is not. Yeah. So that will capture the English language. Yes. So only B is correct, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now question number four. The following pseudocode is executed using the scores data set. At the end of execution, A captures the second highest marks in mathematics. Okay. Assume that the max holds the value of the highest marks in mathematics. Choose the correct code fragment to complete the pseudocode. Okay, so first tell me the logic behind this. If I want to find out the second highest marks in mathematics, what I need to do? So the marks uh, uh, must be below the maximum marks and it should be greater than the second uh, maximum marks. Greater than second maximum marks? Greater than third maximum. So first, I need to find out the uh, maximum. Any mark which is less than max and anything above the existing A. Yes. So, so first we need to find out the maximum marks among uh, all the data set. But that max max must be less than this max, right? Then we can say that will be second highest max in mathematics. So what is the condition for that? So what is the code? So we have initialized A to 0, while table 1 has more rows. Okay. So we are comparing one row, taking one row. Then what we need to do? So first option number A. So x dot mathematics is greater than A. So what, what we will get after execution, if we use this particular option, what A so, will store? It's a maximum mathematics marks. So A will store maximum mathematics marks, right? Yes. Sir. Maximum mathematics marks, right? So if I just simply change the question, I want uh, if A represents maximum mathematics marks, then this will be a correct one. What about option number B? It is comparing the max, uh, whether it is less than the max mark, and then above the, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, that is incorrect. It is checking for max. Sir, it is max. Than max. Yeah. And the other it is invalid. No, uh, we are comparing with the uh, above max. It makes no sense, sir. Not an invalid expression. It's a valid expression, but output will be false, right? Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. have to go for less than max. So mathematics greater than max. No, max is already highest max. We are giving the question, right? So this will not be true anyway. So this will be false. And mathematics marks. Uh, Less than A. Less right? than A. 
So what this will give me? It's it's completely incorrect. Minimum sir. Minimum. Minimum. In, yeah, incorrect. So this is not a correct one. What about C? So this will be correct, sir. Right. Uh, less than max and above, yeah. It's and uh, above, yes, sir. This, is this mathematics max is less than ma uh, maximum max, but among all the remaining uh, rows, this mathematics greater than A will ensure that this particular value will get the uh, second uh, highest maximum max, right? Sir, you are explaining yeah. mock paper only, sir. I just mock this one. Okay. So option C will be uh, more correct, right? C is correct. Now, yes. what about option number uh, D? D is incorrect. No, D first condition is correct, but second one is actually is equal to its assignment actually. So what what A will give me after end of execution if this condition it's, is applied? Sir, minimum mark. Minimum mark. Replacing, it is replacing the mark with the A. Sorry. It is replacing the mark with the, it's replacing the existing mark with the current X mark. Yes, but what what A will show after end of execution? Minimum mark, sir. Minimum marks, right? In this case, also I will get the minimum marks, right? Yes, sir. Right? Because for example, maximum marks is for example 90. Right? So yes. it it means that all the rows in the data set is less than having 90 marks, right? So for example, uh, 85, 80, and 82 is the marks. So what it will do? X dot mathematics. So 85 is less than 90. Yes, that is true. Then it will update the value of A to 85. Okay. Again, I will check for this particular condition. Okay, so anyways, A, we are not using this, right? Okay. Sir, but we, we are not changing the max. No, sir, sir we in this situation, we will update the marks whenever we get the low value. Like uh, if max is 90, so if we are going to uh, take 80, so it's got updated uh, by the minimum yes. marks each and every iteration. Yes, sir. So, so we, are, we, we are not changing the max here, sir. So every condition will actually uh, meet if it is less than max mark. So whether it is 80 or it is 85 or it is 72, yeah. all the conditions will meet for the first condition. So this so will, if it, if I finish the order, it will get the uh, last one, right? No, sir. It if just... it is actually first one, if you check 72, so uh, your max less than uh, 72 is actually true. So it will set the value as 72. Yeah. Next one, yeah. Second one, if it is 82. It is still less than max, so second time it yeah. will set 82, right? Yes, so yes, yes. Not, so that's so not the same. minimum. If yeah. I fix the order, that's not giving us the exact second value. I just. Yeah, if, if you I fix the order, the... it will go for minimum. Yeah. yeah, not a minimum, last one, right? The last one. Yeah. The last, last one. one. So that's why I told uh, first that uh, we cannot say surely. Uh, right. So this is not correct. So, yeah, if I fix the order, then I will get a last one. Okay? So that is yes, basically. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is not a correct one. Okay, any doubt in this question number four? No, so, it's clear. Question, right? Now question number five. Let X be a row in the words table. Let each short wave is a procedure, okay? To find out whether the word in row X is a verb or not. So what is the condition? Find whether the word in the row X is a verb, okay? So verb with letter count at most five. So letter count at most five okay then choose the correct code fragment to complete the pseudo code so whenever you are obtaining any question try to uh, note down the keyword keyword in the sense what you need to find out right so here my particular uh, word must be verb and letter count must be at most five so you need to read the question carefully and try to note it down what we need to find out right then it will be easier for so us voice, to... so your voice is breaking oh is it uh, no sir your way your voice is okay no, i think I, I it all it. has issues uh, sorry, okay. you are good to order. Okay, fine. So, yeah. So, first we need to understand what uh, the question is asking, right? So, here we know, okay, for the row X, that it must be a verb. Verb means part of which must be a verb and letter count at most five. So, our requirement is clear to us, right? Then we can uh, go for a uh, question, right? So, here what we need to find out, procedure is given uh, each short fit and we need to fill out the code. So, simply, so what is the requirement? Part of speech must be equals to verb with letter count at most five. So what this at most five means? Less than, Not greater than less than, less than, less than, less than or equal, equal to, five. to less than or equal to five. Less than or equal to five. Right? This one. Yes. Right? Yes. Now these are my two conditions. Now just go to option number A. What will happen if part of speech equals Sir, to the verb? Part, 
yeah. it's not meeting the criteria. So it yes, will sir, return true. But we have one more condition, right? Of later that account, so that is, is missing. not mentioned. So option A is anyway, it is not correct. What about option number B? Sir, it is also incorrect, sir, because it is returning false. False yeah. actually written. So this my required condition has been met, but it yes, was written true yes, for that. But it is returning false. So option B is not correct, right? What yes, about sir. option number C? Yeah, it's sir, it is a or condition, sir. So it's also false. It's false. Because or actually, so or is. We need false. both of the. Uh, both conditions. Yeah, because we need word in the both, export. Both both right, yeah. Later count at most five. So option B will give me either the word is work or having the later count at most five, right? So this is yes. not the requirement for us. So yeah, this is not a correct one. Now let's go for option number D. If x dot part of switch equals to work, okay. So we are checking whether so part of switch correct, sir. Yeah, this is correct. And this is our required condition. So both the conditions are met and it is returning true. True. So this that's why it is correct. Uh, yeah, because it should find out whether the word is broke or not. So yeah. So this is correct. Option number D is correct. Any doubt in this question? Option C yes, sir. It turns true as return false. I don't understand, sir. Which one? It turns true as return false, sir. Yeah, so the output of this particular posture will be true or false. It will return true if this particular condition has been met. Okay. Sir, option C, can you explain one more thing? Which one? Option C. Option C, okay. So here, part of switch equals to work or x dot letter count is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so our both the conditions are there. But what is our requirement is our word row x must be work with letter count at most five so with is there it means that both the condition must satisfy it right so for yes. that we use and operator yes, if we use or operator either of the condition will get satisfied then it will return true but that is not the requirement right so and must be used yeah so this is option number d is correct okay yes great so what about question number six so following pseudocode is executed using the words data set, what will A represent at the end of execution, right? So A is initialized to 0, while table 1 has more rows, then we are reading the first row x in table 1, and we are initializing i to 1, b to true, okay? Then we are using one more while loop. So why we are using while loop, and in which case we need to use this nested while loop, can anyone tell me? Comparing the existing code. It's a comparison. No. Comparing what with the existing row which we have picked up, existing rows. So for example, row which first first row which we uh, picked. Right, right. So if I want to compare any two row from uh, the given data set, right? So what I need to do was I need to take that row and need to compare with. If I if I want to compare with all other rows, right, based on a particular condition. So in that case, I need to use a uh, looping, right? That is while loop. Okay. Yes, sir. So what does it is doing? So first row is taken. So that will be x. Then, OK, while i is less than or equal to later count. For example, my first row has the word was. OK, so this is my word was. Later count is basically 3 here, right? Yes. Now what I am thinking, yes, sir. while i is less than or equal to later count. i is 1. Yes, less than one, equal one to is three. less than 3. three. So this yes. is true, right? If this condition yes, is true, then we'll only execute this while loop, right? While block. Otherwise, we'll yes, not sir. execute. But now, in this case, my condition is true. Now, what will happen if i th later? Now, what is the value of i for this iteration? One. 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 First letter of x dot. What is a vowel? So, is it a vowel? First no, letter. Sir, it is consonant. No, sir. So this is false. So we are not going to uh, do anything with this, right? So I will uh, increment come out of i. I am incrementing the i. So what is the value of i now? Two, sir. Two. 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 Again, I will go to a while less loop. than equal to three, and yeah. and remember, unless we uh, meet this particular while condition loop. while loop, we cannot go for outer we'll while loop. Right? Yes, we need to keep iteration this. So here, value of i is two. So two is less than or equal to three. Yes, yes that is yes, true. Sir. Second letter of the word is a vowel. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Now this is true. Now what is the value of b? Now we are going to update the value false. of b. False. Okay. I will increment to 3 now. 3. Again, I will go for the next iteration. 3 is equal to yes, or less than 3. No, this is yes, true. Now, nah? equal to sign is there, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, third letter is a vowel. No. 
and i will uh, i will come out of this loop now all the now in this in the next iteration it will be four right but yes. four is less than or equal to three that is false, false condition sir. False. So this condition is false i will exit this file loop then i will go here yes sir now what is the value of b at this particular point if false, b, b b false. should be false right b true false false no no we have updated the value of b to false we have we updated it to false so it is false right so yes, if false. false so this condition is false so we cannot execute sir, this in a right sir 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 yeah. Yes. Sir, uh, in, uh, we have initialized i equal one and b equal true. So uh, this uh, the uh, value of b, which got updated earlier, it's for only this uh, particular while loop, right? Yes. Yes. So why we are taking b as a false in the second? Uh, like if this condition not as satisfied, then we have to take the b equal true. No, the condition no, no, is satisfied. No. The variable is already updated with the false no. Yes. So in uh, the uh, yes, 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 sir. So, like for, for four, it it got false. Yes, yes, uh, got it, sir. Hmm. After iteration, the value of b got updated to false, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then I will go to this b. If b is false, then I am not. I cannot execute this one, right? Yes, sir. So I will move that particular row to table two. Then again, I will go to outer while loop this one. Yes, sir. Right? And I will hmm. take a second row. Then I, again, I will compare with all other rows, right? So what is happening here? So, so we need to find out nothing but any word which is not having any vowels. Yes. So we are interested in finding out the a. Okay. So this a will only increment when this b will be true, right? Yes, sir. And this b will be only true when this particular condition is not met, right? It means the value of b should not get updated. So when this value will yes, get sir. updated, then any particular uh, word is having what is vowel. word doesn't have any vowels. vowels. If any word doesn't have any vowel, it means that for that particular value, this will be true, right? Yes, sir. And in that case, only we are going to increment the value of a. So what a will give me? Yeah. Number of number words. of words which have no vowels in there. Yeah. So number of words without a vowel, right? So option C is correct. Yes, sir. Any doubt in this particular question? No, sir. Okay, great. Now question sir, number if, seven. If huh? we if the word has already does not exist any vowel, then uh, while loop is not executed. If any word is not having any vowel, so it means this will not be true, right? This means yes, we are not sir. going to execute this. Yeah. So simply we are incrementing yeah. value of y, then we are going again for a while loop, right? We are keeping in this loop, and after uh, execution. Anyway, the value of b is not get updated. It means the value of b is true initially, right? So that will be here. Okay. okay. You can take this as a WWS. Okay. Try for this word. Anyway, this will not get updated. And at the end, initial value of b is true. So in that case, we are count this type of word. It doesn't have any vowel. Okay. Great. Okay. Sir. Now question number seven. Uh, following. Yes, tell me. Sir, before question uh, that uh, B, if B is uh, taking a true or false, that is a little bit confusing. Sir. Which one? B, this one. B. If B is equal to if B, then A is equal to A plus one. That one. Okay. So see, this is if block, right? If condition. We are yes. going to execute this only when this particular condition is true, right? Yes. It can be any condition. Unless this condition is true, we cannot execute this inner block. Okay, whatever is there inside the if block, we cannot execute that unless this particular condition is true. Okay, so this is how this if block will work. So we have if, then we have some condition, and then we have some uh, code, right? So unless this particular condition is true, we cannot execute this line of code. Okay. Yeah, so, but uh, you, yes, you said that uh, here we have to take b is false. No, no. For a for a word was. There is some vowel, right, in the word. If there is a vowel in the word, then we are going to update the value of b to false, right? And after the iteration, what will happen? The value of b is false here. Then that will be false, right? So we are not going to increment the value of a for that case. Okay. So for a iteration, you need to iterate to all the words. And if you get any of the vowel, then uh, in that particular word, so we are not going to count that. B will get word. false. Because it will update the value of b to false, right? 
Any so, doubt for now? example, if D was no. initialized to false, then uh -huh. if, in that case, if D was in. Yeah, tell me. I'm asking that only if B was initialized to false, then what mm -hmm. will we do? No, uh, see, this is the code written for this particular purpose only, right? Hello. Now, if B is false, right? Now, suppose if you want to count uh, A, the like number of words having a vowel. So, in that case, it will update this B to true. Okay. So, if I initialize the B to false, and if I this update the value of B to true, now what this A will give me? Now, tell me. Yeah. That, that's what my uh, question, sir. Actually, here we are taking B is true or false, sir. Yeah, then, then will uh, check here? A will B, B, B so condition will, will be only, check here. No, only if what is B the B is B true, sir. So so no, no, the condition is basically it will execute if B is true. Basically, yes. it's checking if B is true or not. If B is true, then it will go for the condition. Condition. Okay. Yes. Okay. But so, he, someone said that here we have to take B is a false condition. No, no. We, we, we are not. We, we are not bothered about whether uh, B is true or false in the earlier code. When it comes to code number eleven, we are checking whether B is true or false. Okay. If B is true, then A will be incremented. If B is set to false. A is not going to get incremented. That's what actually it says. 11, yeah. line 11. Suppose I have two words, WWS and WAS. So both are having three uh, count, letter count, right? Yes. So what will happen in the case of WWS? One is less than three. Yes, this is true. Then I'm going to execute this one, right? If this condition yes. is true. If I had letter of the X word, what is vowel? No, it is not a vowel. It means I'm not going to execute this one. Unless this condition is true, I cannot execute the inner uh, line of block, OK? Okay. So then we are going to increment the value of i, and then again we are going to iterate through all the particular letters. Okay, so this try for this too. So on first case, uh, all the, this condition will not get satisfied if wrong. Okay, because there is not any vowel. So in the first case, the value of b will not get updated because we are not going to execute this one. So initial value of b is true, so we are going to use that uh, same here. So. It is not getting updated in the for first word. Right? In the case of second word, there is a in the word. That is basically a vowel. So whenever there is a vowel, this b is going to then update b will the get false. false, right? Yes. Now, b is false, and here if b will be false, right? Yes, then in that case, we are not going to increment. Yes, yeah. yes, okay. So this is basically number of words without vowels. Without vowels. Okay. Great. Uh, question number seven. The following pseudocode is executed using the library data set. At the end of execution, A captures number of books, okay, which are published after 2010 or have less than the average number of pages. So what is our requirement? Let's please read the question carefully. A captures number of book, right? Yes, so A is a variable which captures number of book, but what is the condition which are published after 2010 or, okay, so or condition is there or have less than the average number of pages, right? But yes, this average here, so it is given to us that assume that the variable average holds the value of average number of pages of the book in the data set. So can anyone tell me based on this particular uh, criteria, what should be my condition, what I can write? So publish means year, okay. The X dot book publishing year uh, after 2020. Data or year the number of 2010. Sorry, 2010. Or the number no. of average pages or less than less than average. AVG. So this number of pages less than average. So average is basically AVG, right? Yes. 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 So I am interested in these two conditions, right? Yes. Then only I'm going to increment the value of A, right? A. Yes. So we need to count that. Right. Okay. Now, when what we need to find out, identify such mistakes. Okay. Now, just mistakes. go to the code. Yeah. So, can you? Can anyone tell me what is the error in this particular code? So, line or, number eight. The condition is actually opposite. Opposite. Yes. Twelve. So this is greater than one hundred and ten. So this is fine because after this year. Yes. But what about this? Line we want. Sir, it's wrong. This is opposite, sir. Wrong. sir it could be less than. Yes, sir. Line yes, number sir. it has an issue. Line now, tell me. Add, sir, line number. Line number twelve, 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. is not incrementing. Yes. It is not incrementing. Yes. 
assigning the value. So a is equal to one. Right? So we want number of books. Number of books means we need to count the number of books, right? So for that we need to use a equals to a equal to a plus a plus one. A plus one incremental. Line number that eight and correct. twelve has a error. Okay. Any other error in this particular code? No. No, no sir. sir. No sir. Right. So option. Eight and twelve, right? So option number B and D should be correct. Yes, B and D are correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Any other? Okay. This is all condition. Okay. Suppose uh, same thing. Okay. Now I want to find out the cap uh, capital number of books which are published after ten and num and have less than the average number of pages. And what changes I need to do in this code? Yes, anyone tell me? Actually, on one line only we can put the condition. If the year is less than twenty ten, mm -hmm. and uh, the x number year of pages less than yes, sir. 20, we simply 10. put this if condition uh, along with this. In one statement. One statement. Yes. And we need to skip this if log, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Then we can yeah. say if c is two, then we increment the value of a, right? Okay. Yes. Sir. But I don't want to write. Two condition. I just want to write if if two times. Then in that case, how I can write? Nested if you can put. Oh, uh, nested, nested if we can do. Okay. Also, suppose this is fine. This is fine. Now after this, I want uh, a to increment for and is done. You can put two variable. Uh, for x dot uh, years, you can put a equal to true. For pages, you can put b equal to true. And if a and b is true, then you can increment. So I need one more variable here, right? For example, b, and this is b true. And what times can say instead of c, if b, b and c. c, right? Yes. If both are true, then only we are going to increment, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So this will be a required thing. Okay. So just think in that direction. If we slightly change the uh, question, what should be the possible changes we need to do? Instead of or, if I just write and, so there are a number of ways I can write the pseudo code for that, right? So what yes, are the so possible? We can also, extra write uh, extra pages greater than average. Yeah, this one, no, less than average, right? So this yes, condition is always so both are true, then we can say yeah, this is fine. Yes. Just so there are different ways of writing the uh, code. So. Try to uh, think in that direction also. Okay, okay sir. Great. Now, question number eight. The pseudocode is executed using the library data set. At the end of execution, A is said to true if and only if. Okay. Now, what is the condition? There is a pair of books with same genre and same year of publication. So the condition is same genre and the same year of publication. Then choose the correct code fragment to complete the code. Okay, so we have variable a which is initialized to false. Then while table one has more rows, read the first row x in table one, move x to table two. Right. So we are moving that particular row to table two. Now what we are doing in in uh, inner while loop, table one has more rows. So we already move the first row in the table two. Okay. What we yes. are doing, we are comparing the first row with remaining rows from the table one. Right. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So here, x dot something. What is that? Genre must be equals to equals to y dot y dot genre. And x dot er equal, equal, equal to y dot y dot e. Okay. Then only uh, I am going to uh, e to true. Okay. So now check for the options. Execute the code. Yeah. So what about a? Sir, it is have or not and it is or sir it is not correct yeah we want both the statement to be correct so this is not a correct option what about option number b b is correct sir so this is correct b is, b is correct and if both the conditions are true then we are going to uh, update the value of a to true so option b is correct yes sir what about option number c sir so it has or and option a number c is or condition or sir, and a is equal to false and a is so false. This, so this the condition is correct, but a is equal to false. Yeah. So if you understand the question, what is our requirement? You can simply eliminate the option, right? Simple yes, sir. thing. Yes, sir. So first try to note down what we need to find out. Okay. Great. Any doubt in question no, number sir. eight? No, sir. No, sir. In this question, we have no doubt. No, sir. Question number nine. 
simple question so the following pseudocode is executed using library data set what will a and b represent at the end of execution right so a equals to zero and b equals to zero so both variables are equals to zero while well, table one has more rows read the first row x in table uh, one if that particular uh, row x dot pages equals to equals to a then what we are doing initial value of a is zero right yes yeah yes sir but if that particular x dot is greater than uh, a that is zero then what we are doing a equals yes, to x dot yes, x so for this such type of question try to take few examples okay for example uh, because we are interested in the pages right say for example pages is one of the column and we have 23 25 20 26 these are the four uh, rows so what will happen in the first iteration so x dot page is 23 23 equal to equal to zero no i will not going to do anything go to next if block 23 is greater than zero yes this is then going to execute this one so now what i'm doing here we need to update the value of yeah a is replaced with 23 and b will be one plus two one then i'm moving this x to a next table to okay now i'm going to a next iteration so what is my next row 25 right so what will happen 25 is equal equals to uh, this one a. No. No. Hey, sir. no sir no sir what about uh, x dot pages Sir, A will uh, increment it to 25. 25. This condition is true, right? So mm -hmm. A will increment to 25. And value of B will be 1 only, right? For the next iteration. So this will not be executed. This will not be executed. 20 but, is less than. Yeah, this condition is false, right? False, sir. What about 26? 26. Yes, A sir. Will it, it will. Uh, A equal okay. to 26. A equal to 26. What if sir, I have one more? 26. Ah, that's what I'm saying. Ah. Now, yes, now let us take. We have one more 26 now. So then the first condition will say so x dot pages equal to equal to a. Hmm. Then b will increment it. Yeah, 26, right? Yes. It goes to equals to 26. Then value of b will be two, right? And yes, b will be two. Yes, Here, anyway, that condition will be false because x dot pages is. Uh, 26 and the value of uh, a is 26. Equal to 26. So that will not hold true. Yeah. So what this a and b will store at the end of execution? So a will store maximum number of pages across all the books and b will store number of books with maximum number of pages. Yes. So sir, here didn't, are, yes. sir didn't get that this point like 26, 26 when we have both uh, same value. Sir, please explain this. Yeah. Suppose we have a two book having same number of pages, okay? So yes, instead of 23, yes. I'm doing this as 26, okay? 23, 26, 20, 26 only, okay? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. What will happen the first iteration? Uh, 23 equals to zero? No, mm -hmm. right? No. 23 is greater than zero? Yes. I will update the value yes. of A to 23, right? Yes, sir. B to one. In the yes, next iteration, sir. it is 26. 26 equal to 23? No. no. 26 is greater than 23? Yes. yes. I will update the value of a to 26 then. 26, right? yes, sir. And b equal to? b to 1. Then go for next iteration. 20 is equal to 26? No. no. 20 is greater than uh, 26? No. False. No. Right. So we are not going to do anything. Go for next iteration. Now 20 is equal to 26, right? Yes, sir. Now this condition is true. B if this condition is true, then we are going to increment the value of b. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. So B will be a two. And two. for example, suppose there is only one twenty six, which is maximum. So in that case, value of B will be only one, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, we are counting number of books uh, having maximum number of pages, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So option B is correct for this question. So number of books with maximum number of pages. And A will anyway option B, me. sir. So option B only, no? Yes, sir. Num maximum number of pages across all the book and we will give a number of books with maximum number of pages if there's yes. only one book the value of b will be one if there are two books the value so of b will be yes, sir. If we have more than yes. like this the value will be that one right yes, sir, sir. I have a doubt. can you please repeat sir okay so any special I have a doubt. Ah, yes ah, just tell me why you put the value pages of 20 and 20 is above Sorry, 20. Why you put the pages value is 20 and 20 is above? 
No, you can take any value. Take any example, okay? I'm just taking example 23, 26, 20, 26. Okay, you can take any four or five values and just try to execute this one. So why I have repeated 26 just for this particular condition, okay? If I have a book uh, having same number of pages, that is maximum, then in that case, only this B will increment, right? Otherwise, B will not increment. Yes, sir. So, so we can simply say that uh, the large number of, that is highest number of pages in the book, whether it has uh, multiple copy or single copy. Yeah, so if there is only one copy, then B is one. If there are multiple copies, then it will count the number of books, right? Same thing. So here 26 are 2. So here it will be value of B will be 2. But in the next in the next row, suppose I have 28. In that case, everything will get updated A to 28 and B to 1 again, right? So yep. this is true. So anyway, we are counting number of uh, A will count uh, maximum number of pages across all the books, and B will count number of books with maximum number of pages. Okay. So for this type of question, just take any uh, five. Six uh, uh, data. Sir, uh, I got it. A Sir, example a will, will be beneficial for solving these types of questions. Hmm, yes. So, can you please explain how B uh, calculating the maximum number of book? Yeah. So here we need to find out what is A and what B will give me, right? So A is any uh, anyway. This is only we are going to update the value of A here when this particular condition is satisfied, right? Then we are going the maximum to... number of pages. Yeah, yeah. So see what how this code is working. For each iteration, we are checking whether this particular condition is true or not. Okay. So I have a four rows: 23, 26, 20, 26. I will take 23, right? So whether this condition is getting satisfied? Yes, for a first iteration because greater than zero. So then I will change the value of A to 23. When this way, I will keep iterating to the entire data set, and unless this particular condition is true. If this condition is true for any value, then that will show this particular value. Okay, that is basically a maximum value in the data set. Okay, for example, uh, 23, 26, 20, 26, 28. So it will be 28. Okay. Yes, sir. So what I suggest you just take any uh, random data, number of pages, and try to solve this question. Okay, not yes, just sir. this number 10, 15, 20, 20. 21, 21. Now just try with this particular data and see what you are getting. Okay, these are the number of pages of each book. Okay. So just try this particular example with uh, different yes, data. Okay, good. So any uh, doubt this question uh, now? No, ah, yes. B equal to one second. Uh, if uh, x dot page is greater than a, <laughs> why you take B is equal to one? Sir? No, this is a code given to us. We need to find out what yeah, is yeah. A and B will represent. Yes, right? sir. What is that meaning? Yeah, B equals to means this particular variable B will show the value of one when this particular condition is satisfied. Okay. Well, she is asking what is what is B basically means? It's a book count. Okay. Number B of will book count. basically a number of books with maximum number of pages because this condition will ensure that we will get a maximum number of pages, right? Sir, we will increment B only in the case where X dot pages is equal equal to A. Hmm, yes so yeah yes okay. if we get of... if we get another book like if we are going to take the same example if we are going mm -hmm. to uh, take any other book whose page numbers uh, uh, which has page numbers 26 so we are going to increment b again like it would be 3 yes like, yes so, yes, so yes a will a will be only equal to equal to if the last uh, highest pages is matched yes sir if b is equal to 1 is not not, if we are not put that line also, it is okay, sir. That, that time, B is equal to one. Uh, sorry, you were initiate. Uh -huh. so, here, B is equal to one is so, compulsory. We have to write this one, uh, that line. Yeah, that is the uh -huh. highest number of pages in the book, right? Yeah, so here, not anything, sir. Here, so can we take 23 four times, then 24 two times, and uh, solve this? Yes, you can try with that also, right? Sir, I think B will be uh, 4 here. No, no, see. 23, 23, 23, okay? I am uh, saying 25, 25. And okay. I am saying one more, say 27, okay? Fine. Okay. Now, what is happening for the first iteration? 20 is equal to, equal to 0, right? That is false, right? Yes. Because initially, value of A is 0. 
So for a first row, so this is my first row. Okay, this one. So 23 equals 3 equals to 0, right? This is false. So I'm not going to do anything with this. Then I will go for a next if block. Now here, see, 23 is greater than 0. Yes, yes. because value of A is 0 for a first iteration. If this is true, then value of A will be 23. Because X dot page is basically this one for that particular uh, row. Uh, number of pages that is basically 23 and value of b will be 1 okay so i will go for a next iteration next iteration means i will go for a next row now now in this case what is happening the value of x dot page is basically 23 right yeah then equal to equal to a so what is the value of a after the first iteration 23 23 only right so it means this particular condition is true right Yes. Now, I am going to increment the value of B. So, value of B will be 1 plus 1. That is basically a 2, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. And this condition will be false because pages is 23. Greater than value of A is also 23. So, this condition will be false, right? Yes, sir. Yes. I am not going to do anything with this. Then I will go for the next iteration one more time. Now, so what is happening here? Now, tell me what will happen in the next iteration. Uh, next one. B, B become 3, sir. Um, B will be 3, sir. Yeah, because 23 again equals equals 23 for this particular row, right? Yes. Then B equal to 3, right? Okay. Yes. Sir. Again, this condition is false, so we are not going to do anything with this. Okay. Yes. Then yes. go for a next iteration. Now tell me what is happening for a next iteration. Now next iteration will be 25, right? Yes. X yes. dot page is 25. Now tell me what is happening. He here. is uh, high, he is higher than the existing pages. Yeah, so for first check for this particular thing. Whether 25 is equals to equals to 23? No. no. Then A will be no. Then go for this if block. If 25 is greater than 23, yes. A will be updated as 25. If, if this is true, then we need to execute this one. So value of A is X dot pages. That is basically 25, right? Yes. And B yes. is updated to 1. So B is 3, right? Before the third iteration. But now here got updated to 1, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is how this code is work. Even uh, if there are multiple 23, but it will take the highest number of pages, maximum number of pages, right? Yes. Sir, so B next would be uh, Just tell me. Sir, B would be 3 now. No, no. In the previous iteration, the value of B was 3. But in the in this iteration, the value of B is getting updated to 1 here. Here you can see, right? Yes. Oh, yes, so, yes, so yes, B, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So B will yes. always remain one, sir. Right? Sorry, I joined late. B will always no, remain no, one. No, 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 no. See, for this particular iteration, twenty-five is greater than twenty-three because we are checking for this particular row now. Now this condition is true, then we are going to update the value of A to pages. So X dot pages twenty-five. So value of and A then is B will be one. And B will be one. Now go for a next iteration again. Now, now my next iteration X dot pages is what? One more twenty-five is there. This one, right? Yes. This one. Sir. Now here, what is happening? Twenty-five is equals equals to twenty-five, right? Now this is true. If this is true, then I am going to increment the value of b. So in that case, one plus one will be true because on the previous iteration, value of b was one, right? Yes. Sir. So here, value of uh, b is two. So in that case, it will be increment two. But if you go for a next iteration one more time, so right now the value of b is two. Sir, value it means of b for. Is two. For uh -huh. every a uh, false a, uh, the value of b is going to be updated as a one. Yeah. So unless this particular condition is satisfied, it means the value of going, uh, value of b is going to update. Yes. Yes. Yeah, whenever there yes. is a new book comes with a higher number, higher of, number pages. of pages, yeah. and then only the b will be one. Yes. Yeah. Got it, sir. For yes, next sir. iteration, is twenty-seven. So twenty-five is not equal to twenty-seven. Then we will go no. for if block. Again, yes, we'll update the value of then, b to 1. So a would be, be 27 again. and b, b would be 1. Yes. Sir. yes. If next, we have some, for example, 25, which is less than 27. So both conditions are false, right? For next iteration, this is not correct because 27 is not equal to 25 and 25 is not greater than yes, 27. Sir. So anyway, this, both the conditions are false. So we are not going to do anything. we we'll go for a simply yes. next iteration. OK? Yes. Sir. Any doubt in this question now? No, no, no sir. sir. It's clear. No, sir. So, in any case, number of books with maximum number of pages uh, will yes. be equal. Will be the right answer. For yes. Me. So, B will be number of books with maximum number of with pages. maximum number of pages. Yeah. If there is one book, the value of B will be one. If there are five books, the value of B will be five. Okay. Yes, sir.
ओके ना क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द फॉलोइंग सुडो कोड इज एक्सेक्यूटेड यूजिंग द वर्ड डेटा सेट राइट व्हाट वी सी रिप्लाई एट द एंड ऑफ एक्सेक्यूशन सो इन द क्विजेस यू विल नॉट बी गिवन द एंटायर डेटा सेट यू विल गेट द टेम्पलेट ऑफ अ डेटा सेट ओके सो देयर यू कैन सी द कॉलम्स एंड द सैंपल डेटा ओके सो इन द कॉमन डेटा सेट फोल्डर देयर इज टेम्पलेट आल्सो यू कैन जस्ट रेफर टू दैट ओके सो दिस विल बी गिवन टू यू इन द एग्जाम सो टेम्पलेट विल बी गिवन टू यू नॉट द डेटा सेट ओके so questions doesn't require the data set value okay understanding of code what is doing and what we are getting that is enough okay so we don't need to find out any uh, value right we have uh, in actually a seven of data seven question because there we have access to a data but in the exam we don't have a data we have a template okay so you can just go to a common data set there are template uh, file is there okay great so this is the pseudo code what we need to find out c okay so initially the value of c is equals to 0 while table 1 has more rows read the first row x in table 1 so we are reading first row from a particular table okay we have this table and this column okay move x to uh, table 2 uh, so this is my first row so i am moving this particular uh, row to table 2 for example this is my table 2 t2 okay this is my t1 if x dot words ends with full stop so if you see a word data set okay so sir so that means a whole sentence will go to table 2 then the procedure will uh, work uh, yes let me show you the uh, word data set so it was mon uh, sunday morning and monday morning it was monday morning yeah that, yeah, that yeah the... it was monday morning yeah so this is the data set okay so here you can see all data set templates uh, jpg right so this will be given in the exam okay this type of yes sir so in the words you can see row number 8 uh, <coughs> sorry word part of speech and letter count is there okay so if you see a words uh, data set okay this is the base data set this one right so if you yes, observe sir. it was monday morning but monday after morning, morning we have full stop if you can see right so it yes, means sir. that we are end of the sentence okay yes. now what this is doing if x dot word ends with full stop so for a first word it does it end with full stop no right no so it was monday morning so i will simply take that uh, sentence only yes, right sir. so right. it is there was is there Monday, Monday was there and morning, right? Morning. So dot, for example, okay. Dot is yes, there sir. after that. Now, read a first row. If x dot what ends with full stop, there is no full stop. No sir. We are not going to do anything with this. Go to a next iteration. Next row ends with full stop. No. No sir. So this condition must be true. So I will not do anything. Go to a next iteration. Again, read the first row. Monday ends with full stop. No, no, sir. No, sir. Right. So move x to table two. So in the oh, table two, yes, what I will yes, get? Sir, table two, the first sentence will go there into the it table two. First was sentence. Monday, first right? Monday morning. No. So we are in the Monday only, right? So I am moving that okay. particular x to table two. Okay, this is my table two. Now yes, in the sir. next iteration, read the first row x in table one. So I already moved this. So this will be my first row. The morning row. stops with full stop. Move this x to table two. So I'm moving this to table two again. Morning, right? Yes, yes sir. With full stop. Now if that particular word ends with full stop, then what yes, we sir. need to do? C equals to C plus get something. So this is a particular procedure function, right? Yes, sir. So we yes. need to call this particular function. So we'll go to this particular procedure. But what? This will do. Get something table two. Now, what is there in the table two? So table two it was Monday morning. Monday morning. So after iterating through this particular uh, code, what I will get for every sentence we are going to execute this procedure, right? Yes, Can sir. Can I say like that? Yes, sir. Yes, every sir. sentence because unless every this sentence. particular condition is true, I am not going for this particular line of block, right? But yes. when this condition is true, it means that in the uh, words end with full stop. So then yes, only I will go for the process. Sir, and after for... performing the uh, procedure, the rows are cleared from table two. That's why it's a every sentence. Yeah, uh, I will I will uh, come to that. Yeah. 
so as of now we are in the first sentence okay so i will add this particular point now what this will do table 2 so this will take this table 2 as a input okay yes, now sir. a is equals to 0 while table 2 has more rows read the first row x in table 2 move us to table 3 okay i'm moving this it to table 3 while table 2 has more rows read the first row y in table 2 if x dot letter count equals to y dot letter the letter count is 2 3 monday 6 morning the morning 7 right yes yes sir so it so i'm going to compare it with remaining was monday morning because this is the first row x and i'm so going to just uh, finding the pair yeah so what we are doing that x dot letter count is not equal to y dot letter count so x dot letter count is basically it okay so x y yes. is and my y word for this particular y was was right letter count is not equal this is true right Yes, sir. Yes, and part of speech equals to part of speech. So, what is the part of speech of it and was? So, so it pronoun was and pronoun was, was verb. So, is this true? No, sir. Uh, I'm getting some background the condition noise. Condition will be false. Okay, hello, everyone. I'm getting some background noise. Okay, please note. Okay, great. So, yeah. So, what we're discussing here. Huh? So, if this particular condition is true, then only we are going to increment the value of a okay. yes sir yes sir so what this a will give me first tell me what this a will give me sir different letter count and same parts of speech part of the part of the speech is same for Number continuous of to pairs of letter count and same the different, le word, letter different letter count letter. and same parts of speech okay so yes, can sir. i say because this is for particular sentence right yes, for sir. sentence yeah yeah number of can sentence I... which has a continuous uh, part of speech the same not continuous part of speech right part of speech are same and letter count is different different right? letter. different yes. yeah letter count is different yeah. yeah so the number of words in a particular sentence having different letter count but same part of speech can i say like this yes sir, yes, sir. Then yes, sir. only a will increment okay a will increment okay and move back to table 4 move all those from table 4 to table 2 so again we are moving all the uh, uh, rows from table 4 to table 2 only. Then return A. Okay. Return. So, what this A will give me for this particular sentence? So, different letter value? count and same parts of speech. Pairs of word that yes, has different of letter count and uh, same parts of same speech. Same parts of speech. So what is the value of A in this case? Just for example, for a first sentence? One. One, right? Part yes. of which must be same. So noun, noun, both are so noun, letter yes. count are different. But the letter count, count different. different. Yeah. So then value of A will update to one. So for this first one, yes, uh, sentence, output will be one, right? And I will return one. Yes, sir. And just I will, will return one. here. So the part of the speech is not same, sir. No, here you can see uh, for Monday and for morning, noun, noun is given, right? So oh, part no, of speech okay. is true. And letter count is different, right? Both the conditions are true. Yes, sir. Okay, so then uh, we are going to return A. So value of C will be 1, right? 1. So clear all the rows in table 2. So we are clearing all the rows on table 2. Then again... Uh, sir, wait for a second. Uh -huh. uh, sir, when it in that iteration done, uh, if uh, X letter count not equal to, it will check all letter with the X first option only, or the all the options. Okay, can you, can you repeat your question? Uh, sir, uh, let uh, X uh, letter count not equal to Y letter count. Uh, mm -hmm. for x and y okay it will shift y to the uh, table 4 then it will go back again to letter 2 uh, table 2 sorry and it will check again x with x and y after it move it to uh, table uh, 4 y uh, portion no no see what we are doing here this table moving of uh, words right this is what you want us okay so in table 2 we have it was monday morning so what is happening here Table two has more rows. Read the first row in table two, right? Okay. okay. So, it is irrespective of this particular condition satisfied or not, we are moving that particular row to table four, right? Even if yes, it is true, even if this first, we are moving because it's outside E block, right? Okay, okay, okay. So, in the table four, it will be uh, like this. Uh, okay. X it will, will go to table four. Then again, we back to iteration. While. Yeah. Again, we are going for a while loop, right? Okay. From here only. After yeah. the so whole sentence is completed, after. After that, we will move to all table 4 to table 2. Table 2. Okay. okay so, okay, okay. T4 will be was Monday morning, right? Yes. Yes, yes. 
after iteration what will do i will move this everything to table 2 so t2 will be this one only right it was monday morning it was yeah. already uh, see uh, row x to table 3 and read the first row is in table 2 yeah so it will uh, return a so what a is basically uh, i can say in a particular sentence a uh, number of words having same part of speech but different letter count right That's, yes sir so okay. same thing c will give me also because simply we are counting that only so right pair support not numbers of sorry so pair support yeah, pair of word yeah i can say pair of word uh, having same part of speech uh, but different letter count in a particular sentence this is what c will give because anywhere the output will be uh, one or two only right so sir will c be sir will c be zero after every sentence uh where is c is zero have we updated the c anywhere for a first row it will count the this one right uh, c equals uh, to one then after for the sir uh, next sentence next sentence what again we are going to uh, go for a next iteration right sir what is the value of a for this then sentence? what will be the uh, value of c after the next sentence Value of C will be a uh, one uh, for after first and the value of C will be the one instead of zero because we are not updating C anywhere in the code, right? Yeah. Hmm. Sir, A can uh, sir. A can be incremented uh, to two also, right? Uh, if it is continuously the same sentence as yes, uh, yes. If yes. sentence has three or more noun, then it will increment yeah. continuously. Yeah. So, so if Swaminathan was selected to open his eyes, right? So this is my next sentence. So Aminathan was selected to open, uh, I open his eyes, right? So from sir. four to ten, okay? Okay, okay. So here you can see noun. So Aminathan is compared with rest of the uh, rows, right? So noun, noun we have yes, this right? eyes, then, eyes will be noun. But letter count noun. is different, different. right? Yes. yes, sir. So this will get counted. Value okay. of A is one. Now one. check for what, 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 what? Yes. What? Same sir, after the, count uh, different, it will count sir, to then it will increment to two. Yes, value of a is two. So elect an adjective, take check ad adjective, no, no adjective. adjective. No check increment. for preposition, check for verb. Okay, sir. Yeah, like this we have to go. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, sir, what uh, will be the value of C after uh, this sorry. sentence? Just, just a second. Uh, In yes, the table, if huh? uh, uh, first verb is counted with second verb, okay, hmm. then we come to open uh, or that we leave it that part. So this is going the uh, procedure here, right? So what we are doing, we are taking yes, that yes. particular first row and moving to table three, right? Okay. And okay, then, okay, okay, okay. When we first compare it, it will already already goes to other table. So huh. it will not in the previous table. So we are we are not able to count it. Okay. Yes. Am I correct? Sir, sir, what will be the value yes. of C after executing the sentence? C will be two. No, not will be two. Only for first sentence, it will increment uh, for only one, I guess, right? And in the ne uh, next, and sentence, for the next sentence, the value of a will be what two, I guess, right? Two or three, for example. In that case, c is one plus get something will be two, so this will be three. Yeah, right? yeah, okay, okay. So c will give me number Sir, of pairs of c words. is not uh, reinitialized in every sentence. So how the answer contents are in every sentence? Where we have reinitialized, we are not reinitialized, right? No, no, I'm asking the question that if C is not reinitialized, then how the answer contents are uh, include the in the same sentence? If C is not reinitialized, yeah, we yes. have not reinitialized the C now. See, what we are doing here, we are we need to count the C, right? What when the C will get increment? When this particular function will return the value, when this particular function will return the value, what value? Based on this particular condition, right? Whatever is given to this, right? Yes, sir. So if you just consider first two sentences as a part of a data set, like first ten rows only, so hmm. the value of uh, C will be three, right? One plus two. Right? Yes, sir. Three. Yes, sir. Three only. So what is what does that three indicates? Sir, then my question is uh, why the answer will not be B. No, no. First, tell me what does that C indicate? Don't C, C indicate uh, any, sen any sentence which has the same spot of the speech. Pairs of word which uh, letter count not equal. Yeah. So number of pairs of word, the same part of speech and different letters of the same sentence, right? 
sir why then the answer will not be b sir what is b number of pairs of words with the same part of speech and different letter count number of pairs of words with same part of speech and different suppose you letter. execute all the sentences in the table hmm then to, uh, then the answer should be number of sir, pairs it is a uh, mcq question or a single it is mcq, MCQ sir mcq question ha huh, then uh, we can put b and uh, d also no sir number of pairs so of words that's why same, i told you that if the same is sentence. not initialized then how uh, d can be so correct right right we same if same are, sentence is not possible if because c is uh, initialized to zero sir. then d will be more correct sir sir i am unable sir, to get uh, the, the main main thing is the same hey. sentence sir it should same be same sentence. sentence yeah uh, But, yes sir yes sir my concern is with the same sentence Yeah, yeah. So C should be initialized to zero. Then only we can ah. say same sentence. Ah, yes, yes, sir. Yes, this is right. my concern, sir. So this C it must be, be sir sentence. in the uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes. Now it is the correct. Yeah. Sir, in five iteration, we took x is equal to it, y is equal to was. In second iteration, what will took x is equal to was or y is equal oh, no. to? So this. Is... nested while loop right so first table 2 has more rows read the first row x in table 1 so value of x x dot what is basically it now we are going to compare this with all the remaining rows it with was it with monday it with morning right now once we have compared it with all the uh, words what we are doing okay let me write So sir, it, one one doubt. It's not a consecutive uh, words, right? It, it can be anything. No, no, not a consecutive. Yeah, not a consecutive. You can see a second sentence, right? In that, it is not a consecutive, right? But so, sir, C will only be incremented when we find a word with full stop, right? If we, if we cannot yes. find a word with full stop, it will not increment C. So why yes. would it be the, in the same sentence? Why will be? Like why will no, it not be that it's in the same sentence? Yeah, so I will come to that. Uh, let let me finish this. Okay, how this first I will uh, discuss how this while loop is working. Okay, so one has asked this. So what this while loop will do? So while table two has more rows, right? So you know this is my table two. It has it was Monday morning. So what I will do? Read the first row in table two. Move that particular x to table three. So I have table three here. I am moving that particular word to table three. Okay. Now what I am yes. doing? Table two has More rows, so table two has more rows, right? So I already moved that particular row to T three. So my next row will be was, right? So read the first row y in table two. Now my x word is eight, and y word is was, right? Now see letter count is equals to letter count. Yes, that is true. Not equal. Part of speech is same. No, not the same because pronoun and verb is there. So this condition is false. I am not going to increment a. Okay, now if block is over, now I am moving that y to table four. So I have table four. I am moving this was to table four. Okay. Now in the next, okay. Yeah, so yeah. this. Now here I have to go to next while loop. Now here the value of still x is it only, right? Unless I complete all the iterations of this inner while loop, I cannot go to outer while loop again, right? So again I will compare it with Monday, it with morning. So I compare it with morning. After that, there is no more rows in table two, right? Table two yes. will be empty. When table two will be empty, I will come out of this while loop because this is not true condition. So okay. what I will do? I will move all the rows from table four to table two. So this was my table four was Monday morning. Now I will move this table four to table two. So table two will have was Monday morning only, right? Yes. Then what it will do? Yes. It will take, it will take for next iteration x dot what as a was, right? Then I will compare in the uh, in the iteration was with Monday, was with morning, like this we will do, okay? Okay, sir. Yes. Okay, so this is how nested while loop work. Now, uh, sir, let's then the correct answer. Yes, sir. What is the correct answer? I will come to that. Just a second. Your observation is correct. So to basically solve this question, we have to take like a sample data set, or do we just like you know do it directly? No, you don't require sample data set because we just need need to find out what is uh, represent, right? So we can directly say because you know if you uh, practice, you will know okay x dot uh, words ends with full stop. Full stop means it is a particular sentence. Okay, okay. Now we'll come back to uh, that particular question. So here, what we are doing, we are taking. Sir, I have a question. 
uh, I am discussing your doubt only, right? About C. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Yes, yes. First, let me complete that. Okay. So move X to table two. So I am moving that particular all the words to table two unless this particular condition is satisfied. Now, full stop, right? So it was Monday morning. This is fine, right? Now what we are doing here? C plus get something. So we are calling this particular function for that particular sentence, right? Is this clear to everyone? Table two, right? Yes, for sir. That yes, sir. First sentence. Now yes. clear all the rows in table two. Okay. So I'm clearing all the rows from table two. Then I'm going for a next while loop. Okay. Yes, sir. So I've already gone through it was Monday morning. My next while loop was Swami Nathan was selected to open his eyes. Open his eyes. Okay. So this will be continued till this particular condition, right? Yes. Sir. This will be continued till this particular condition, right? Yes. Sir. We are going X to table two only. Now uh eyes, right? Yes, eyes. Eyes ends with full stop. Then again, I will call that particular function. C, but procedure previous because if I didn't reinitialize the value of C to zero here, what will happen? C yes, is sir. Then the C will be one, zero right? again. Yeah. No, no. From the previous iteration, the value of C is equals to one, right? Yes, sir. Now if I go for a next sentence, it will increment in the one only, right? Yes. Yeah. So, yes. So in this case. Option D will be more correct. Number of pairs of words is the same part of speech at different rate of account. What option no, D no, is no, telling? No, number no, of pairs of words. Right. C is the same, same sentence. To know number of sentence, right? C basically tells total number of sentence which has okay, right. the same part yeah. of the speech. Huh. So when the D option will be correct? Yes, sir. I have the same question to zero, he asked. Sir. It should not be real to zero, sir. No, no. Otherwise, it'll, every time it will only show for that particular sentence it's gone through. Yes, but yes, that's what I'm saying. If we want for that particular sentence, then C should be close to zero, right? Hello? Yes, yes sir. Hello. But you, you yes, are sir. overwriting the C every time when you're reading the sentence. Right? No, sir. Yeah, then it will just read the, like, you know, one. Only the last two. sentence it will verify and then it will confirm yeah. whether it has same part of the speech or not. If you want to calculate for all the sentence, then C should be written as it's uh, the yeah. current value. Exactly. <laughs> so what? Okay, yeah. So C is equals to one. In the next iteration, what will be there? Value of C will be. If if it is not incremented, it will be C will be one. If it is incremented, then one plus whatever Two. the current number of uh, output. Do the three, from. sir. After the second sentence. Get something uh, table. Two. Sorry, uh, can you repeat? I didn't get your question. No, uh, uh, for the first uh, iteration, C will be 1. Second right. iteration, huh. in the procedure, whatever outcome comes. If it is 1, it will add C 1 plus 1. Yes. If it yes. is 2, it will add 1 plus 2. If it is 0, then yes. it will just go with the same number. Yeah. So in this case, uh, in the next sentence, it was 2, right? So C will get 1 plus 2. That is basically 3, That'll right? 3. Hmm. This, yes, is, this is fine mm -hmm. for everyone. For first yes, sentence. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. What is the question or uh, like solution? Number of pairs of word with same part of speech and different letter count, different or number count. of pairs of word with same part of speech and different letter count that occur in the same sentence. Sir, why the same sentence, sir? That is my question. Huh. So here it is we cannot say for the same sentence because value of C equals to three when yes, sir. That's uh, yes, sir. different sentence, right? Hmm. Hello, are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it occurs in all of the sentences. Yeah. Yes, yes. So C will give me the okay. total number of words, sir. After yeah. executing all the sentences. Number of pairs of words with same part of speech and different letter. Different letter. So B but, will be correct, sir. Yes, sir. But this correct. question. But B uh <coughs> Sir, if D is to be correct, where will be the position of C equal to zero? Where wait, wait, C will be reinitialized wait, just, to zero. Just wait a minute. Okay. So number of pair of words with same part of speech and different letter count. Uh, this thing also we cannot uh, show because this we are counting for each sentence and then we are incrementing, right? So for yes. entire data set also it is not correct. Okay. Uh, sir, is not correct here also. Sir, B is incorrect because uh, when we are uh, uh, reading the data from table hmm. one, 
like after that we uh, completely we clear all the rows in the table too so it's hmm. not going to compare uh, we are not going to compare the this particular sentence to the another sentence now we are taking the another row for a new iteration yes we are taking another uh, row for new iteration yes but what i am saying option b is also not uh, perfectly correct, accurately correct yes 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 sir yes sir hello i am saying uh -huh. So the question is confusing, sir. Hello. Huh? Sir, I am having a doubt in question number five. Oh, sir, question six. No, no. We are discussing first this question. Let me discuss this. Okay. So see, what I am saying here: value option B is not correct, and option D is also not correct because number of pairs of words the same part of uh, speech that occur in the same sentence, right? Yes, sir. But C will C is not giving that thing. C is not getting realized to zero after executing yeah. the one particular sentence. Here, uh, here A is given pair of words. So it's here C is number of pairs. <laughs> the pair of words is so it's mentioning C is number of pairs of words with same part of the different words and different same sentence. Yeah. So if I uh, go through a next iteration or a next sentence, it will get incremented, right? So yeah. So C, C, is, C is sir getting the uh, total number of uh, pairs of words, which meeting the condition. So uh, number of pairs of words with same part also a different data count that occur in the same sentence. But uh, this is for uh, entire data set is possible, right? If we take new the, uh, sentence, then yes, in that case also this is fine. So yeah. So in this case, more appropriate is option number D only. But yeah, this will also not give the accurate. But yeah, more yes, appropriate. Sir, only, yes, sir. Only D option is correct. Yeah, most appropriate sir, option sir, is D. Only. Quote, please. Ah huh? yes. Sir, go to the code, please. Okay, code. Yes, sir. Uh, of C, C was dating with the C plus get something. We are creating the table hmm. too. So, so for for every sentence we are clearing the table too, and again table two. we are yeah. uh, going to table one. Table one. If if uh, table one has more rows, then again we see and move to table two. And if it it is the n word, then we update it. Otherwise we drop it and drop it so so for every yeah. sentence you will yeah. either so increment will... or not increment so sir, for, said any options is not sentence uh, person correct sir for last of sentence we, we will update it no no uh, and, last and sentence were working for table two huh, but for first sentence we have cleared the table two right we have cleared this right yeah. And the value of C is one. This is fine for everyone, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then we are going for a next iteration while loop. Okay. So here, yeah. what is happening? We are going for a next sentence. Okay. So what tables uh, move to table two, right? So we have already cleared the table two, right? Yes. Yeah. Then we are going for a next sentence, right? Next iteration. So clearing all rows in table two does not yeah. mean that uh, we are uh, reinitializing the C is equal to zero for every new sentence. That is also true. Yeah. So C you will not remain. remain. C you will remain as it is only. Yeah. So C will be same across all of the sentences, right? So B should be more accurate. Yeah. Uh, that's why. Uh, yeah, yes. Sir. B will be more correct. No, but we have not specified also, right? So what this will do? Just simply read the sentence. Number of pairs of words with same part of speech in different letter term. So it may occur that I will compare this verb with this verb also, right? This one also, or this one also, which is not a part yes, of the sentence, yes. right? Yes. So in that case, option okay, B will not okay. be correct. A and C is in oh, sir, not correct. Now, sir, I get my point, sir. Huh. Option D will be correct, sir. Option. Yes. yes. Eh, okay. See, option D sir, is the, more appropriate. For the while loop, this will be correct. So for the while loop to execute, the statement should be uh, mm -hmm. with a dot. The full stop should be there, right? X dot word ends with the full stop. Then only we are going for uh, incrementing that value C. 
so the statement should be See, uh, yes. every statement only yes, we are executing d should be correct but there should be something added there at the end it yes yes yes, yes, yes. That's what like. yeah that's what but, i'm saying for, more specific for to answer go to the loop for go to the loop we need to actually have that full stop in the hmm. d statement right. then only that loop will get triggered yes. otherwise if it is a uh, if it is just iterating all the words we are not bothered about the full stop yeah so this particular is more appropriate but it is going for that particular sentence only right if we take yes, two such sentence for a particular uh, sentence uh, but uh, if we overwrite a c with a zero then it is for each and every sentence if you are yeah, not but, overwriting then it is accumulating for all the sentence all the sentence sir yeah, actually but, we need uh, reinitialization of c to uh, meet the condition of uh, option d each and every statement every sentence yes yes फिनिश फर्स So option number D will give me number of pairs of words the same part of speech and different iterative code that occurs in same sentence, right? This is most uh, accurate among all the options. But if we uh, we have not uh, initialized this C to zero, what will happen for the next sentence also? This will get a bit value of C, right? Yes. 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 So in that case, what we need to do this C and this C both are the variables same different variable we need to use because if we just Reach in a C to zero. So what will happen? It will take for the last sentence only. For every sentence, okay. we are counting, but again we are okay, reaching okay. to zero, right? Okay, okay. So we have to use different variable here. <coughs> for example, okay. Uh, m. Okay, and mm. c goes to zero. Then I will initialize m to zero. Then I will count simply c. Okay. 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 So okay. that thing I have to. I have to use one more variable here. Otherwise, it will count. Okay. Okay. The last sentence only because c is anyway uh, reaches less to zero, right? Yes. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So now this question. I, I feel these these correct because of we are only going to that while loop when there is a full uh -huh. stop is found. Yes. So only when the yes. sentence yes. is there, I am going to get the get something. Yes. So I feel yes. these. So these are the more more appropriate. See, we update only for the same sentence. Hmm. Yeah. So during exam, like this kind. This is not hundred percent correct, like, but more correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you can see if there is some ambiguity, I uh, will look at it. Okay, don't worry. So let's move to But the next question. D is more appropriate. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So this was good question. We have discussed all the possibility, right? Yes, sir. So yeah, we have learned uh, more in this question. Any doubt in this question now? No, sir. 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 So number of pairs of words same sentence means like uh, and uh, the wording is also little critical sir it is saying number of pairs actually but even if it is more number of uh, nouns we are still counting it sir number of pairs a uh, pairs is here yeah. no, that, that is that is if it is if it is continuously noun 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 even three nouns also we are counting right yes yes we are but counting there is no problem in counting more nouns Pairs yeah. is here, yeah. but yeah. pairs, yeah. uh, pairs is actually it is uh, it, it's only two, right? Pairs means always we talk about two. Mm. No, but we are comparing one with two, then one with three, then one with four, like that, right? So pairs is fine. Yeah, exactly. So, so this is two pairs. So basically, oh, this is number of pairs. Number of pairs means all. all yes, yes. So some yeah, some ambiguity is there in this question. Yeah, but okay. The most appropriate option is uh, option number D. Sir, in the first iteration, uh, we are uh, uh, clearing all the rows in the table too. Right? So in that case, I think the same iteration will be repeated. The first sentence will be uh, repeated. Yes, so sir. Something, uh, something, something wrong is there in this particular uh, code. Okay. Very good. I will sir, check because yeah, it is going to repeat the same thing. It's given that uh, you know, all yes, the rows in the table two there, yeah. will be clear. Right? Then it, all the rows in the table two will be moved to table one again. Then the same sentence will be iterated again and again. So that's why it's uh, uh -huh. 
Same yeah, but but it should not be uh, the uh, correct code. Okay, no, we we'll, don't worry. We we'll check this question. But as of now, uh, but I guess you understand what we are doing here, right? How this code is working, right? There is some ambiguity here. Something more okay. is required here. So we'll do that. Or hello, we sir. need one more variable. Uh, yes. Sir, if it is uh, there, um, hello. Uh, oh, yes. Table two to table one. Then it will be Question is that uh, uh, we are doing qualifiers. So the week five and week six content had has been released. So no, no, we, not required. Week one to four only is the syllabus. Okay, yes, sir. But uh, do we have to submit assignments only for the uh, courses we wish to continue? You told me or... that there is only nouns. Wait, just wait a minute, Shubankar. Huh, yes, Kostu. So you just need to uh, go to week one to week four content, okay? Then, yes, yes, uh, if you want to continue this particular course, you have to attempt a uh, grade assignment question, right? For week five and week six. Okay. So if I am only uh, doing two sub two courses, then I only submit assignments for those two courses, right? Yes, yes, it depends on you. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you sir, much. sir, someone asked the question that uh, if the sentence uh, contains only the nouns, then what will be the answer? Okay, you can just try it out. Okay, now let me discuss other questions. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So this question number uh, eleven. Yes. So let. A be an author who had written the book in the library data set and B is a positive integer value. So what does this do something will compute, okay? So we have procedure, do something. A and B as a two arguments as the input. So C is 1900, uh, D is 2022. While table one has more rows, read the first row is in table one. So what we are doing here for a, a first row, we are checking whether X dot author is equals to, equals to A, okay? A is basically a, the input which we are going to give, okay? And then if yes, x sir. dot here is greater than c, then we are storing the value of c to x dot here. So, and if x dot here is less than d, then we are storing the value of uh, d to x dot here. So c is here 1900 and d is here 2022. Okay. And then what we are doing, we are moving x to table number two. So what this c and d will give me, if anyone can tell me. The c will be the so latest book and d will be the oldest book. C will give the x dot year greater than 1900. Sir, that means the latest sir, book, sir. C, C will give the oldest book, oldest book uh, that has. Uh, no, no, D okay. will be given the. Uh, will the latest book. D will be and giving any book which is above 1900. Huh. D will Let's be giving any speak. book which is less than 2022. But if I do this complete iteration, what will C and D will sort of the end of iteration? The latest book will be there on the C and the oldest book will be there on D. Okay, so yeah. latest book will be on so the... C will store the C. author name of the latest no, book. No, no. C will actually the have the latest year. book, sir. D will have the oldest book. Okay. How they will be the name of the author. Okay, C. The for the same author, the for this particular author, A, I have this year, for example. Let us take one example. So, 1900, right? So... 2000, then 2012, then 2006, and then 2020. Right? These are the of four books, for example. So what will happen on the first iteration? X dot year greater than C. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So 2000 C will get updated to 2000. Greater than C. 2000. Value of C is 2000 now, right? Yes, sir. What about this? 2000 less than uh, 2022. Yes, sir. this yes, was sir. 2000. Yes. Now, both e block is completed, right? Yes, I will move x to table two, I will move this uh, to table two. Now, go for a next iteration, okay? Yes, sir. what about uh, next iteration will... 2012? But what is the value of c and d from the first iteration? It will be 2000, 2000, right? In both the cases, 2000, sir. Both 2000. the cases, 2000. So, what is happening in the next iteration 2012? Let us see this condition. The c will be 2012. 2012. But the value of C will get updated. D uh, what will about? Same, sir. So 2000. D will be 2000. 12 is less than 2000. Yes, is sir, this true? Incorrect. No, sir. incorrect no, sir. right? So no, sir. value of D is still 2000 only. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, can you explain? Hello? In one more time, please. Sir, I'm can you explain one. one more time? Hello? Okay. okay. The 2000, 2012 wala part. Okay, so let us consider we have this uh, four uh, books in four different years by the same author. Okay, 
2012-2006. Okay. For the first iteration, what will happen? Because we are considering for same motor. This is must. Okay. If this is not met, we are not going to do with this part. Okay. That's why yes. author is A only. So for author A, then only we are going to compare. Okay. For that particular author. So for author A, I have four books: 2000, 2012, 6, and 20. For the first iteration, X dot year is 2000, right? So 2000 is greater than 1900. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2000. Yes, sir. 2000 yes, sir. is less than uh, 2022 because D is 22 here. Value of D will be 2000, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then I will uh, move X to two, uh, another table. I will go for a next yes, iteration here. Oh, sorry, here it will be 2012. Now compare X dot year greater than C. So 2012 greater than 2000. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2012 greater than 2000, right? So value of C will get updated to 2000, 2012. 2012. Okay. So value of C is updated to 2012. Now what is happening? X dot year is what? 2000, right? Yes, sir. Less than 2012. Yes. Uh, no, sir. Sorry, sorry. no, sir. I'm correct. No, no, wait. X dot year is 2012, right? Now, 2012 yes. is greater than D. What is the value of D from previous iteration? 2000. 2000. 2000. This False. is not true, right? So I'm not yes, going to update sir. anything. I will go for another iteration. Next is 2006, right? Yes, sir. At this point, the value of C is 2000. Value of D is what? Sorry, value of C is 2012. What is the value of D? 2000. 2012. No, value of D is 2000, value of C is 2012, right? Oh, yes. Sir. For yes, the next sir. iteration, 2006, what will happen? Value of D will be D is greater than 2012. Is this true? No, sir. No, no sir. sir. 2006, no, sir. less than 2000. No, yes. sir. This is also incorrect. Yes. No, no, incorrect. This is also oh, incorrect. Yes. Incorrect, right? yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, the update. Go for the next iteration to 2020. Now compare yes, what will happening. So C will be 2020. 2020. Yes. So 2020 is greater than 2012. Yes, sir. Yes. So value of C will be 2020. Yes, sir. 2020 less than uh, 2000. No, sir. So, no, sir. So no, sir. Value of D is 2020 only. I will go for next iteration, but there are no rows. I will close the while loop. Okay. So what yes, is the value sir. of C and D now? Tell me. 2020. So C is 2000. Uh, C is 2000 and uh, oh sorry. C is 2020. So what does this tell us? Basically, D will store the year which having the year, the right? oldest uh, oldest book, right? Yeah. So for yes, this data set, 2000 is the oldest book, right? Yeah, oldest to publish. Book. Yes, sir. And what C will store? 2020, yeah. latest one. Latest, book. latest, book. latest, book. latest book. All right, so doesn't matter the value of what year you choose. C will always store the latest one, and D will always store the oldest one, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we are done with this particular while loop. Now go for if condition. What if is condition. C minus D? C is 20. what? Latest one is oldest. So latest 2020 oldest. minus 200. And this must be positive, right? Because B is a positive integer, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So this must be positive. When this will be positive when C is equals to sorry, C will be greater than D, right? Or equal yes, to sir. Yes, sir. Then only B will be positive or equal to uh, positive, right? So it will return true. Yes, so sir. when this C will return true, now just check. Output true if and only second book of the author was published at least B years after their first book of uh, was published. No, sir, not after. Sir, sir, sir. No, sir, no, sir. Huh? Sir, can you explain that C minus D value yeah. part once again? Okay, uh, you understand what is C and what is D, right? Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. I'm. So C me. is the so the latest book and D will store the oldest book, right? Yes, sir. Now, what C minus D will do? Yeah, uh, it will be the interval between how the year that uh, author has uh, published book. Latest and oldest. The difference book. between latest and oldest book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can say that. Right, and this must be positive. Yes, sir. It must be positive. Because so B is also positive. Positive, right? And then only yes, it will return true. So this condition must be true, right? So latest minus oldest must be positive, right? So what yes, do you do? If and only if second book of the author was published at least B years after the first book. So first and second book do have any criteria? So for this first? is not correct, sir. This is not correct. If and only if the last book of author last means which one latest or oldest? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
लेटेस्ट 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 बुक ऑफ ऑथर वाज पब्लिश्ड एट लीस्ट बी इयर्स आफ्टर देयर फर्स्ट बुक वाज पब्लिश्ड दिस इज करेक्ट यस सर बी इयर्स आफ्टर मींस व्हाट ओल्ड आफ्टर देयर फर्स्ट बुक वाज पब्लिश्ड बी इज बेसिकली योर ओल्डेस्ट बुक राइट यस सर सो दिस दिस विल बी ट्रू राइट ऑप्शन सी व्हाट अबाउट ऑप्शन नंबर सी यस ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट ऑथर ए वाज पब्लिश्ड एट लीस्ट बी इयर्स आफ्टर द सेकंड लास्ट बुक सेकंड लास्ट बुक वी डोंट हैव सच कंडीशन राइट No sir, no sir. Yes. Sir. What about option number D? Uh, Before the first book was published. If and Before. only if the late last book of the author was. No sir, it should be after. Yes, yes, yes. How we can? This is meaningless, right? Last book. Yes. Before sir, before. No, no. How we can publish last book uh, before the first book, right? Yes sir, yes sir. This is not correct one. This is so only correct. option B is correct, right? Yes sir. Yes. Any sir. doubt in this particular uh, question? No sir. No, no sir. No, sir. Okay. sir. There is no doubt. Like uh-huh. uh, uh, it is showing that if 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 x dot author is equal to a, after mm-hmm. that the second if, then we need to take both as like we are including those stuffs or what are those telling about? This one, right? This one block. Yes, sir. This so- and this. Like we need to include. Uh, what in the case like? Uh, what if there will be an and or on or case in between those if? So what will be the changes? And or or, yes sir. Like you want some multiple condition here, and or or. No sir, it's like he. What if like uh, if the both is that we need to include both the cases, na? Because they are like uh, it is example of uh, you no, are no, meaning see, uh, the two, data. Both the if will execute, okay, for all the iteration. If we check that this condition is true, then only we are going to do this. Again, also to check for this condition. Okay, yeah, this two are different. If first if will, if first if will be not correct, then we not go to the second if. No, no, it's not like that. Both sir, it's, are independent. It's like it's basically an no end condition, I think. Not the end condition. No. no or condition C and D. Or between if and if. No. no. If this condition is true, then we we are going to do this. If this condition is false, then we are not going to do anything. We will go for a next if loop. Okay. We'll see whether this condition is true. Then only we are no, going sir, to do actually, this. No, sir. Actually, sir, we am asking that we huh. need to check the both the both ifs for the condition, or we just need to check only one if, or we it just need e- to and both yes, the condition. Both if and different you... things, right? What yes, if? No, no. See, let me complete. Okay. See, for each particular row, we are checking this particular condition is satisfied or not. Then we are going to okay. increment the value of it. If this is false or this is true. Doesn't matter. We are still going to for a next if condition. Okay. 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 So both the if if block will exist because these two are different ones, not a nested if. Okay. Sir, what if that there is but there is and in between those if. So we need to find if first case is followed to and second case is followed to. Then we will gonna combine both twos and take the next as a two. But right. So that will be a nested if, right? If if you want to have. This condition check first, and after that, if condition, then that will be nested. Okay? So we'll discuss that part. But yeah, sir. Actually, when uh, we are uh, <coughs> calling this uh, procedure, mm-hmm. so a is going to be uh, a string which will be passing, and b will be a, another integer will be passed. So b is any positive integer value, right? Yeah, b b is some integer, but integer. Uh, will it be in year or it will be just number? Just number. Number number. Because time not goes in negative. Yeah, yeah. So that's what to say. But we are checking for same author. Okay. If author is different, this may happen that, for example, author is A, B, C, and we have A. Okay. So two thousand, two thousand twelve, two thousand thirteen, and two thousand and twelve. So for a first row, two thousand and twelve, two thousand and twelve. Then only we are going to take this one. For next iteration, author is B. We are not going to do anything. We are going directly for hmm. next iteration, right? Author is C. We are not going to do anything. We are going for next iteration. Author is A. Okay. Then again, we execute this one. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So this guy. What if there is if else? I'm, sorry. Huh? What if there is else? Else if after the else. Okay. So that you need to think which uh, criteria will happen. Okay. So. This is not a uh, good to then discuss if else. Else will not work here. Okay. Yeah. So we'll but say we'll see if we have more such question. We'll discuss if else part also. But this question is clear to everyone. 
yes sir yeah. it's like we the need to first time. find the first if like after the while one and then we need to switch to second if that is c minus d wala part yeah so this condition we have to check for this particular same author once you have done with all the rows then just go for next step because here you can see curly braces right it's starting from here so why do we have to here? iterate through all the cards problem i'm facing there like how to find to the how to find the actual brackets like uh, there are multiple brackets so how to be make sure that we don't confuse in brackets yeah so see while loop is starting here so just while loop will end here okay if 14 is starting here so your block will end here so if block is starting here this if block will end here this if block will end here okay okay so sorry. just take take the indentation okay yes sir and uh, also in the it was a and also in the if condition c minus d Mm -hmm. If we are just taking it as an integer, so uh, it, it's just twenty twenty minus two thousand. So that will be twenty. Are we positive integer? So are we taking it that way? That way, or are we just taking it twenty 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 minus twenty uh, years? That is twenty. Uh, no, no, two thousand. We will not take that way. No, that's what. If B, we are if we are taking it as actually year, then here also we have to consider here only, right? No, this will be that's anything that's number, na? Any positive integer can B be. B is the difference, not ER. Yeah, so twenty twenty no. minus two hundred will be twenty only, right? So positive. Yeah, that's what. If it is integer, it will be twenty. Uh -huh. If I just take it as a year, uh, uh, number of years. So from twenty twenty minus twenty years, I will go for two thousand uh, year. So uh, I, I am thinking it is actually integer, but B only I am just a little confused. Will it be just an integer will be coming or? Will it be a year? We will be, year, year will be, will be integer. It is given on the question. Yes. We so be a positive integer. This positive integer. Two thousand twenty is also positive integer. Two thousand fifty is also positive integer. Okay, but that's see, the publication year. No, no. See, see, see. No. That's not the thing. What we are doing, we are simply checking whether the difference between this is positive or not. That is the only case. It doesn't matter. It's a two or two lakh. Okay. Value of B. We are simply checking okay. the difference is positive or not. It means that this book uh, get published the latest one, right? And this will be the oldest one, right? This is the only case. We are only checking whether it's positive yes. or not. That's it. So after and before, right? So at least if the last book of author is published, at least B years after their first book was published. Okay. So yes. doesn't matter the number. Number doesn't matter here. Two also positive. Two leg is also positive. Okay. We are only checking the difference is positive or not. That's it. Okay. So this is the question. Try to yes. solve this question one more time. Okay. With different uh, thing, you will be understand different way. Better way. Okay. Next question is question number two. The following sort of executed score data set. At the end of execution, A captures number of female students. Okay. So we want to capture number of female students. So female is the criteria. Okay, who are above average in at least one subject. Okay, at least one subject. So in score data set, we have three subjects: physics, chemistry, and maths. Okay, assume M P C holds the average marks of mathematics, physics, and chemistry, right, respectively. The pseudo code may have mistake. Identify all such mistake if any. Okay, so it is M S Q question. Uh, now tell me which one is correct. Uh, sorry, which line uh, is have any issue? Anyone? Line number eleven. Line five, sir. Line five. Okay, first row. Uh, first line is we have initialized table. Oh, line table yes, one is line five. So the the, is not sir, sir, I am having a doubt. Like, what if uh, if check something is meaning? What is the meaning of if check something x yes. m and okay, that I'm what? Computer. Okay, let me discuss. So a is initialized to zero. While table one has more card. Okay, what then? Read the first row. So we are reading first row from particular table one. Now, if now we are calling this particular function, okay. Now, if yes. this function is true, then only we are going to do this, okay. So, check something x m p c. So, there are four variables x m p c. So, this particular function will take this four as a input. This four argument as a input. Yeah, x m p c. Now, what is x here? X is that particular row from the score data set. What is m p c here? Average marks of mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Okay, this is clear to everyone. Yes, so sir. this will take yes, that sir. particular row and MPC as an input. Now we are going to call the check something procedure here. <coughs> Now Y is basically my X, C1 is my M, C2 is P, and C3 is C. Okay. C. Yes, yes sir. 
Okay, now what we are saying, gender equality. The line number 11 is wrong, sir. Sir, no, like, yes, yes. sir excuse me. Sir, uh -huh. in ninth line, procedure is check something like those are just like X for Y and M for C1. And uh, uh, it means like that indicates P for C2. You see, this particular procedure is taking this for as an input, right? Y, C1, C2, C3. And which are those? We can mention it here. When we are calling that particular function, we can mention this here. Okay. So okay. in the same order. So Y is basically that particular X okay, row. Okay. C1 is M, C2 what? is P, and C3 is C. Okay. Now what we are doing here for this particular input. So input is that particular row and the MPC as a C1, C2, C3. Okay. Gender yeah. equals to female. So okay. Then my first condition is true. Number of female. So gender must be female. Then what I am saying for that particular row. Mathematics marks is greater than average marks of um, mathematics marks. And so there should be or okay, let me discuss. Physics marks is greater than P and chemistry marks is greater than C. Okay. Then we are returning true. Okay. So this will return true. So when if will return true, then only we are going to do something here. Okay. We are going to implement this. Now, what is the criteria for this? Number of female students. Okay, this is fine who are above average in at least one subject now yeah yes, at least one, at least one it is there should be or for at least one so subject this will return true only when the that particular all student has have all three subject right yes so if you interested in at least one subject we need to change it to or, or. yes right? or if this condition is true, means at least one subject, it will be true. Or this condition is true, it will be true. Or this condition is true, it will be true. So we have to change and to or. So line number 11 has the issue. Okay, We need to change and to or. Okay. Yeah. Now, we are counting. Okay, This is true for that particular. So this particular condition, female, and at least one subject is uh, made, right? Now yes. this will be true. This check something will be true, right? Now if it's true, then we are going to do a Sir, what is two. that? We have a to is increment to one represent. We have to increment that value from you. So we a want to, a to one. find out number of females, right? So we will not Sir, get number is, of females here. Sir, that is a equal to one. What that represents? No, no. Here it must be a equals to a plus one a because plus one. we need to count the number of females, right? Based on yes. this particular That's why a have to be incremented. Sir, a that means in in the wrong part of in course in line five, a is equal to one means there is only one female who has scored the, the uh, no, no, you cannot subject that. The, the, the of the, of the one subject. No, no, which is wrong, which is wrong, huh. which is wrong, no? Yeah. So here that it might be the proper explanation of that. Yeah. This is our requirement: number of female students, right? But this particular. Like I'm, I'm a, Actually, I'm saying that if what if they're in the scenario that a is equal to one, it means na, ki there is only one female who has scored at least one subject average, at least above the one subject. No, not no, required. No, right? no, no, the no. first condition, the... if if the first condition uh, checks something, if uh, result comes as false, See, then this it is simply variable, right? So it will value one no, sir, only uh, saying, of value no, of the one is assigned to it. No, sir, I'm saying if was something was... Is, comes as false, then we are not meeting the diff condition itself. Huh, so right. now it is actually true. No, so we are gone to A. If it is actually always false, we never go to the A statement itself. Yes, so this must be true, then only A will be one, right? So it will not give a female as one, like only one female, no. No, no, okay. actually, I'm just saying ki, what if take a scenario that checks or something that you have written above is right. So that A is equals to one. I'm just taking an ideal scenario that I'm just talking about A equal to one. It means only na ki if uh, the female that then has, what A will it is, it is, it is always one. Huh. It is always yeah. one. A always yeah. be one. Always when you know this one, condition is true. It will remain it will be one. A one only. Okay. So you cannot conclude this anything. It will be one only. Even if, if okay, this condition okay. is true once only, it will be A one. Okay. 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 So here it must be A equals to A plus one. Okay. So. Yes. This will be more true because we are interested in number of female student, right? Number of female student. So number of females, so number will get from A, okay? Because A captures number of female student. And how this condition is satisfied? Before if condition, because then only we are going to increment. So this must give me this particular requirement. And this where is requirement is getting completed here in the procedure, okay? So we need to change and to or 
and a2 a plus 1 okay so these two uh, things are there now tell me uh, any other correction is required no sir no sir but this condition is not no, satisfied sir. then we'll go for false 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 and yes, what is sir. what is the what is that second else yes that to yes. false See, when your gender is male, not it is false. Right? Yeah. So when this condition is false, means okay. when the gender is male, in that case, we are not going to do anything with this, right? We'll go for else block that will return false because we are interested in the female, right? Capture number of females. So when your gender is equal to M, else block will get executed and it will return false, okay? Yes, sir. In that case, we are not going to increment the value of <laughs> It is false. Okay, any doubt in this particular question? No, sir. No, sir. Sir, I okay. like there is a doubt like uh, related to hello? how many how many brackets like there are many things that cannot can be wrong in the code. So it's like key, since there is a multiple uh -huh. there is chances that brackets are also incorrect in the codes. Like as you just uh, check the code and we found that there is some in brackets are not uh, correct form. So we should write that no. line also. No, see. Okay. Right. So read the question carefully. So the word may have a mistake. Identify all such mistake if any. Right. So we need to find out those mistakes. Those thing uh, like indentation part uh, will not be a cover. Right. Okay. So either okay, like I'm just thinking. What topic. if there is some bracket problem, like bracket issue, bracket close, and bracket open part was wrong? So uh, it, is there possibility is quite low now for the bracket yeah. issue. No, no. So those indentation will take care. We will not ask this question. Okay. 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 That's fine. Okay. Sir, I have a question. Hmm. So means in the yeah here, if we have to check for at least two subjects, then uh, it is necessary to means uh, use different if conditions, or we could adjust in the single if condition that means we. Or at least two subjects, right? Yeah, at least two subjects. So in we need to write different if condition. Three ifs. If mathematics. Uh, C1 and physics is less than C2, then true. Or mathematics or chemistry, then true. Or mathematics or physics or chemistry, then true. Okay, so there is some similar question in graded or practice assignment. Okay, I have discussed yes, that question before. Sir, sir, yes, sir. Like like the, there the number of the multiple number of ifs in the code. So we need to satisfy or we need to check for every if. Like for example, yes. there is three if in the question. So first we need to check the first if, then we go through the second if, then we go for the third if, and then we go for the fourth if. Uh, if there is no or and and gate is written, right? Yeah, but that should not be nested. This one is nested, okay? This if is in, is this if is inside this if block, okay? Yeah, I got it. That if the if there is it is a subset of that uh, main uh, gender wala, no? Subset. It is it is under that uh, uh, first hmm. mainly. Okay. It is a nested if. It's a nested if. Okay, you are going nested. to execute this nested. if block only when nested. this condition is true. Okay. Okay. So the nested if means there is a the main if is the first line and there is a under that. Yeah. Yes. If there, this condition is not there. true. If this condition is not true, then you no need to check anything here, right? This one. Okay, okay. Uh, hello. What? Hello. Uh, just a uh, sir, in the in the line eight, uh, mm -hmm. there is a bracket. If there is a space, uh, in, if a bracket is not aligned to uh, violation of violation of indentation, then it will be the uh, wrong, wrong. Line number eight. Yes, sir. Uh, then. If indentation is not allowed, violation of indentation, then uh, code will be incorrect. Violation is it uh, not allowed means? If it is actually yes, asking if, that if it is not at the right navigation, like it is just near down the A. In, there, in there is some A space line. between them and it may yeah, be aligned okay. to 6 a Okay, six, here, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that will be incorrect. Because indentation issue is there, right? This one. Six in number row. So Six it will also, sir. It it will also show this error in the result part. part. This code will not execute because it will throw an error. It is pseudo code only, okay? But it is not going to execute. But if you try to uh, run this in Python, so indentation is must, okay? So when you are going to do uh, programming that, uh, please uh, make sure, okay? But don't worry about this part. We will make sure we will not ask based on indentation one or okay? 
this is not the something that we want to check okay sir can we sir can we use and and or in the same if statement yes you can use and 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 or right multiple condition suppose in the bracket there is in line number 11 we took take uh, y dot mathematics is greater than uh, c1 and y dot physics is greater than c2 in a single bracket and mm -hmm. then we put or and then the other rest of the yes, part you, in a you can do that bracket. also yes, you can do that depends on your requirement you can do that Okay, sir. Yeah, sir, I have a doubt in uh, huh? Sir, I have a doubt in uh, 14 line and uh, 18. What means? 14 and 18. Yes, sir. What means? See, what is happening here? If gender equals to F, then only we are going to execute this one. Okay. If gender is not female, suppose it is a male, then we are not going to execute anything this one okay we are not going to execute this we'll directly go to else block here okay here you can see a bracket right yes this bracket after yes. bracket else block is there so if this condition is false just follow this particular line that bracket after else block is there okay so we are going to execute else block and what is there in the else block return false so output of this procedure is returning what is returning false so this will be false so if the value of this is false then we are not going to uh, do anything here even if it is a equals to a plus one we are not going to increment the value of a because we are not going to execute this line okay we are going to execute this line only when if condition is true similarly here if gender is not a uh, female then we are going for else block and for example gender equals to female then we will not go to else block okay then we are not going to execute we are going to execute this block only okay Yes. This is what it tells us. If if this is true, then do this. If it's, this is not true, then do this. This is the same thing. Okay. If gender equals to fail, uh, female, then what we are going to do? We are going to go inside this particular if block and see whether this particular condition is true. If this condition is true, then it will return true. Otherwise, we will go to else block. If it is false, then it will return false. Okay. Yes. So yes. this is how if else uh, block will uh, work. So for this i will suggest you to watch a uh, week two session i have taken session in that i have discussed if if else and multiple if okay so there's there was one question i remember in that i have discussed this type of uh things okay so please watch that week what two uh, please easily, fail, easy, easily 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 fast in the qualified exam uh can you repeat ayush easy uh, easy concept uh, question of ellipse asked in the qualified exam uh, concept of nested if 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 sir else if yes sir yes yes sir, this only else if if this is true then if or the else no sir i am asking if e l i f it's else if only no, else if block yeah, it's ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah same thing only what we are discussing okay else so, is just yeah, LF, yeah, that is basically a Python, but here what we are discussing. So, yes, see, remember one if thing. And else. If, if condition is true, then only we are going to execute whatever is there inside this particular race packet. Okay, whatever is there inside this particular yeah. base packet, then only we are going to execute uh, this particular thing if this block is true. If, if condition is not true, then what we are going to do. I am not going to do anything unless this bracket is open. Okay. When this bracket is closed, after that, I am going to execute else block. It may happen. There is no else block. There is one more if block. Okay. So yes, sir. I will execute if block. Okay. So uh, remember this point. I will execute if block only when this particular condition is satisfied. Otherwise, I will go for a next line of code. Okay. Remember this particular yes, bracket. Uh, sir. How yes. do we avoid these two else's, sir? Is there any shortcut? Sir, we have statistics session also, sir, after 8. No, no. This will get continued. So if you want to uh, go for statistics, you can go for statistics session. OK. Sir, okay. So how do we reduce this two else's? Two else, this one. So, so see, these we... are different. This else block is for this particular if. And this else block is for this particular if block. OK, you can see the indentation, right? Yes, so sir. when this particular condition is false, then I will go for this if sir, this else block. Asking how do we reduce the code or any simple way is there? Okay, so we, there is a simple way we can discuss that part later, but understand how this code is working. Okay. okay. This is any any doubt in this part, how this code is working? No, sir. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Any anyone sir, any doubt in this code? Sir, no, how sir. do we differentiate between else if and else if? Like, uh, on what context we can? If else and if, right? Yeah. See, uh, if else, else and else if. Else and else. If. Else is not a thing. If else is there, right? Only else we cannot have. If this condition is false, then only we are going for else. Okay. Uh, no, so it is. No, uh, you didn't understand. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I'm asking what is the differentiation between else and else. Hello. So, Hello, sir. Else and else. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yes. Sir, to... like, uh, sir, like, I... there is a, in, there is a, there's a problem, and I want to request that. Ki why there is like the quizzes questions and the questions that are given in the any subject are quite easy to solve in in the any assignments that we are given. Okay, but, so that but part... as can uh -huh. solve quizzes and in the paper, it is very hard questions are given comparatively to the assignments that we have solved. Okay, so that we can discuss later, but let me discuss this question. First. Sir, 13th question, I had a doubt. Yes, yes, let me discuss this question first. So, okay, so we any, we have discussed this. Any doubt? How if no, and sir. if else will work, okay? No, so we'll take a different no, sir, example no for that, but no, this no, question no. is clear to everyone, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yeah, question number 13. So, those who are facing issue in understanding how if block works and how if else work, Please watch week two session, okay? In that I have discussed okay, oh, what is happening here. Let me write again. Okay, week two session. Please watch week two. In that I have discussed how this if and if else block work. Okay, so please watch that session. Sir, I had a now, doubt that in this the line ten that c is equal to zero should be in line eleven, sir. Hmm. Is it yes. correct? Yes, we'll discuss that because this is what we need to find out, right? Oh. So pseudo code is executed using the word data set. At the end of execution, A captures number of sentences with at least two noun. Okay, so at least two noun that have at most two letters. Okay, yes, so at least always. two noun and at most two letters. The pseudo may always. have a mistake. Oh, sorry, always. Yeah, always. So that pseudo code may have a mistake. Identify all such mistakes. So we have initialized A and C to zero. These are the two variables. While table one has more card, read the first row X from table one. Okay, so what is given to us in the if block? Part of speech equals to noun. Okay. If the part of speech is equal to noun, then count vowels x less than or equal to 2. So what this will ensure? At most two. At most condition, right? At most two. But, yeah, sir, but each it, each what this will uh, do is yes, let me discuss. Procedure is that will count the number of vowels. Yeah. So what this procedure will going to do? Count vowels y. So it will take that particular word as an input i equals to 1, b equals to 0, for example, was, and later count is 3, right? So i is 1, b is 0, while 1 is less than or equal to 3, yes, true. I yes. letter of the word is a vowel, first is letter is a vowel, w is a vowel, no. 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 Right? no. So this is false. If this is false, I'm not going to do anything here. Okay, here you can see this one, braces. The position of next i is equal okay. to wrong, sir. Yes, sir. No, I has to be incremented uh, in uh, different. Uh, yes, yes. Let me let me check. Now, if, if I'm going for a next while loop, I is anywhere one only, right? Yes, sir. yes. I is not getting incremented here. So, is there yes, any issue with this particular line? Because we need to increment the I for a while loop. Yes, so sir. So, this is wrong here, right? This is yes, sir. This line should number be outside. This it should be block. outside of the if. Uh, yeah. Yes. Outside of if block. Okay. So whenever this condition I, sir, is there, is it there? It will be outside of the block. Sorry, sir, outside of this particular bracket. The... If this outside is if it is inside of the e block, when this increment, whenever this condition is true, if this condition is false, this i is not going when to. When the current letter will be vowel, they will only leave, the i okay. will be incremented. Then we are, cannot go for a next iteration because anyway the value of uh, i will be one only, right? But there is like cannot... okay, got it, got it. So there is one more doubt that huh. there is in the in the sentence that needs key we need two nouns, but uh, at least two nouns. But there is in line five, it is not showing any two nouns. So how could we say that? I mean, at okay. least these two nouns. We'll come to that, but where I this particular line point, number right? eight. Okay, let me discuss this first. So here, everyone understood why this is not correct. 
line number yeah. 21 yes, yes. because we cannot increment the value of i unless this condition is true right so this is how this is if uh, like while loop will not execute right because if the condition is false we are not going to increment the value of i so this is not correct so we need to increment the value of i outside this if block so line number 21 is the incorrect here okay now okay now let's say i have mentioned i equals to i plus 1 outside is if block now what will happen my next iteration will be 2 so 2 uh, like 2 less than 3 yes second yes, iteration of what is vowel yes yes then increment b to 1 b will be 1 right then for next iteration 3 3 is less than equal to 3 yes vowel no that's no. it i will return b b equals to 1 right yes sir so yeah so value of count vowel is 1 so 1 is less than equal to 2 that is true right yes sir and part of speech equals to noun for example and then only we are going to increment the value of c equals to c plus 1 so what yes, c will sir. store tell me what c will store so the number of yeah. c c so the word with in sentence with vowel word no, with no, no. c basically and stores uh, number of nouns which actually has nouns at least, two, at least two, two nouns so two vowels yeah. so number of nouns store, with, uh, yeah the words having at most two vowels and the part of speech is noun okay yes sir is this fine the word yes, having yes, sir, at yes, most two vowels and the part yes, of speech yes. is noun sir from where did we find c that it is it stores number of nouns yes yes i am coming to that so we are still at line number 5 okay so c is clear to everyone it will yes, store sir. the number of word oh, having sir, part no, so of that, speech noun that's the problem noun. like from where should we know that uh, it will store more than two nouns At that's from line number seven. Two hours, right? Count words. Okay. That's from yeah. line number seven. Yes, sir. I'm coming to that. So here, C will store the number of word having part of speech noun and uh, at most two vowels, right? Now go for this if block. X dot word ends with full stop. So what does will indicate? Is a sentence. Sentence, is, uh, right? Is the end of the sentence. Sentence, basically sentence. For a particular yes, sentence, we are checking if C is equals to uh, or greater than two or not. right yes sir yes sir now yeah, if c is greater than equal to 2 it means what is c here c is uh, the number of noun which yes. has two vowel counts yeah so this c is one here because noun is only one but yes suppose two noun ha huh. suppose yeah. c is two now what does c equals to 2 mean here There are two words such yeah, that the, their part of speech is noun and um, uh, at most two vowels, right? Can I yeah. say that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now x dot word ends with full stop. This will ensure sentence. And yes, this sir. This particular condition will ensure at least two noun. Yes, sir. Yeah? At least two noun. Then only we are going to increment the value of a to a plus one. So we are counting number of sentences with at least two noun uh, that have at most two vowels. And then we yes, are sir. going C equals to zero. Now is this okay? C equals no, to zero. No, sir, it is not no, okay. Sir, it C will be uh, C will be zero, it's, sir. Outside it the line number eleven. Yeah. Why it is so? Sir, because reinitialization of C. Yes. Okay, sir. but why? Why? So it will again initialize C equals to zero. Okay. Yes. This is the condition, but I'm asking yeah, and why? No, 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 sir. For the next new sentence, there is like for new sentence, sir. For the next sentence, we have to keep huh. C as zero. Sir, in in yeah. eighth line, in eighth line, yes. sir, it is it is saying that C huh. is greater than equal to two, and in tenth line, it is also saying that C is equal to zero. It means they are contradicting in the code. No, no, not not like that. See, this C will be zero only when this particular condition is uh, correct, right? Yes, yes sir. So, so even though only one noun in a sentence, then it will not go into ah, zero. See, yes, yes. What if there is C equals to one only? There is only one noun uh, part of speech having at most two vowels. What will happen to that particular case? In that case, this condition is false, right? Yes. So I need yes, to go for the next sentence. So then C will not be updated sentence. to zero. No, yes. Let me discuss. Let me finish. Then I need to go for a next sentence. If I didn't initialize C to zero here. What it will do for a next sentence? It will take the value c equals to one, right? Yeah. From the previous, previous iteration. Sentence, uh, previous sentence round, it will count in the it next. It will also sentence. count. Yes. So that's why I need to initialize the c outside this if block. Okay. Irrespective of the condition of this particular if block, true or false, my c must be equal to zero. Because we are interested in number of sentences, right? Once the sentence is over, c must be equal to zero, right? Yes, sir. 
Okay. Any any doubt? Anyone? No. Yes. No, sir. So, what is like twelfth line? Can you explain it again? Twelfth line. Like the so C one. Option is correct, right? C and E. So like I is a bit at wrong place. Yes. And line number ten. C is a bit at a wrong place. Yes, correct. So okay. What what is your doubt? Can you repeat? So that C equals to zero, Wala. That you just explain yet? Yeah. C. Suppose there is one sentence which has only one noun, okay, and have at most two vowels. One noun and have at most two vowels. Then the value of C will be one, right? Yes. Yes. yes sir. Okay, for any sentence, there is only one noun because you are only checking for a noun and a number of uh, like at most two vowels. That's it. Okay. Yes, sir. In a particular sentence, only one noun is there and having at most two vowels. Then C is equals to one. If that sentence ends with full stop. Then this condition will be false, right? If this is yes, false, sir. yes, sir. Right? Then I need to change the value of C to zero, na? Because otherwise, if I didn't change the value of C to zero, what will happen? This value of C will equals to one will take carry forward for a next sentence also, right? So this is what we don't want. We are interested in the number of in each sentence. So that's why we need to uh, re-define this outside this if block, okay? Yes. If we keep sir, as it is, huh? Yes. Sir, summarize the solution. Yes, yes. So, if we keep this C as it is, what will happen? This will be zero only when this particular condition has been met. Okay. But this we don't. Want. So, in short, what is our requirement? Number of sentences. Number of sentences means when you have seen sentence, it means ends with full stop. At least two now and at most two vowels. So this will ensure the word having part of speech noun and count vowel at most two. So C will give me number of word which is noun and having at most two vowels. That's it. Okay. So yes, if there is only one noun, is it means this particular condition is not satisfied. Okay. So we don't need to increment the value of A. So that is taken care here for that particular sentences because this will ensure sentence right. So ends with yes, full stop. If this condition is true, then we are going to increment the value of a and c equals to zero. But what if there is this condition is false? There is only one noun. In that case, I need to go for a next uh, row for the next sentence. But for this, if c is not reinitialized to zero here, what will happen? The value of c is carried forward for the next iteration, right? So I will not get the required output. That is why this is incorrect. So c must be equals to zero. Okay. And why I is uh, reinitialized here? Because same same thing, right? Number of vowels to be added. Yeah. No. Here, what I if I want to go for a next iteration, I should increment the value of Y. Otherwise, uh, I will get stuck here, right? So if this condition is true, then only I is incrementing. Okay. What if this condition is false? W is not a vowel. Then what I will do? I will be one only. I cannot do anything. Okay. Still, I'm going. I'm in this loop only, right? Yes. And not coming out of this particular loop. This is infinite uh, loop, right? Yes. In that case, what will happen? I need to mention i equals to here, so i plus one. So even if this is false, it should increment i to two. Then I will go for a next iteration, right? We need to check for each word like this. So that's why we need to uh, increment the i after this particular if block. Okay. Otherwise, it will uh, this if loop will never end. Okay. Yes. So please make sure this thing. If you write code in Python for this type of thing, it will never stop because it will keep execute the same thing again and again, right? It will go in infinite while loop. So please uh, be aware of this. Any doubt in this particular uh, question? No, sir. No. Okay, great. Now we have class question number fourteen. Now here pseudo code is executed using the scores data set. At the end of execution of C, captures number of pairs of students who have same date of birth or have same city town but different gender. Okay, date of birth must be same, city or town must be same, but or but gender must be different. Okay, yes. then choose the correct code fragment. So C is zero, while one has table has more rows. Read the first row x in table one, move x to table two. While table one has more rows, so what we are doing here? We are comparing the first row with all other row here, right? While yes, so we are checking whether my first row is having the same date of birth or same city, right? 
So that's what I'm choosing here. So what I need to do is find out the code. So go for the first option. Is this correct? No. Why? So the conditions are uh, so conditions are actually date of birth should be same. Mm -hmm. Date, uh, place of birth, sorry, uh, city should be same, and then uh -huh. gender should be not uh, same. So okay. all three has to be met. Yes. Here, what is happening? Here, you are incrementing separately uh, for date of birth and uh, mm -hmm. not gender and the city equal to. So, so here, what we are same. doing? If date of birth is same, then we are incrementing the C. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If date of birth is not same, then we go for a next E block. Okay. Yes. So, for example, first date of birth is same. If date of birth is same, then we will increment the value of C. Again, we'll go to if block and gender is not equals to gender. Okay. If this is true and if, if there is from different city, okay, we will not going to increment this, but still C is getting increment even when our condition is not satisfied, right? Completely because this, yeah. ah, this is our condition. So it must be same date of birth or same city town, but different gender, right? So this is not getting satisfied here. And what about uh, B? B, correct, sir. So first thing is date of birth is same. Yes, then we are going to increment. If date of birth is not same, then go else. for else block, OK? Yes. Because what is the condition? Date of birth is same or same city town, right? Yes, but different gender. So here you can see if else block and else if block is working here. Okay, so someone yes. is asking for if and else if this is the thing. So what this will do first, it will check for this particular condition. If date of birth is same, then we are going to increment. Else, if date of birth is not same, then we are checking whether this particular condition is satisfied. If gender is not same and from a same uh, city, then we are going to increment the value of C. Okay, so this condition getting satisfied here. Having the same date of birth or same city town but different gender, right? So option yes. B is correct. Any doubt, anyone? No, sir. Okay. What about option number C? Both conditions okay. should be met. Yeah. If so date of birth C, date of birth must be same. Gender should not be uh, equal, and city town uh, must be same. So our condition is not getting satisfied here, right? Yes, we have or condition in that. So this is not correct. What about option number D? Sir, or condition. Or uh, simple yeah, first word, condition. Right? Yes. Or the next two condition, right? This simple. Yes, then only we are going to increment. So option D is also correct. So option B and D is correct. Yes. Anyone any doubt in this part? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So we have discussed all the mock questions. Anyone any doubt in any of the week assignment? Sir, seven number, sir. Seven number question, please. Uh, say mock we test. Data yes, we can discuss data assignment also. Question number seven. Uh, what is your doubt in this? Uh, uh, before we move on to that, sir, can you please? If the first if first if is uh, uh, true and the mm -hmm. second if uh, uh, comes false, then uh, what will be the final answer? So it, it, it is that nested or to different if block. Which which is the case? Both are different if right. It's not a nested yeah. if. So both will execute. So if this is huh? so the first if, which is checking for the year is extended year is uh, greater than two thousand. If this mm -hmm. is uh, true and the next one is false, okay. Uh, then where is it is checking for the or uh, like the or operator? We are not using or operator here. Or operator. So okay, we need to find out the mistake. So it must be like this, right? Yes. So here you are saying if x dot year is greater than uh, 2010, then c is yeah. true, right? If c is yeah. true, then uh, we are going to increment the value of a to a plus one. That's it, na? Or condition is there, na? If any one of the condition is true, then we have to increment. If this condition is true, then I am incrementing because c will be true. If this condition is true, then I am going to increment because c is true. If both conditions are true, then even the c will be true, right? Sir, if the first condition is true and the second condition is false, then uh, then C will be false, no? No, no. See, initially the value of C is false. If yeah. this particular condition is true, we are going to update the value of C to true, right? True, yes. Now go for a next E block. This condition is false. We are yeah. not going to do anything. 
but at this particular line value of c is true right it is getting it get updated then anyway the value of c is true here right it is getting updated line number 6 na yes sir yeah sir i think uh, okay okay thank you sir. yeah okay so please try to solve this question one more time okay if you have any issue okay anyone any doubt in uh, Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, one one question uh, actually, it's not related to the uh, mock test. So, okay. GT uh, CT uh, graded assessment scores are not updated in the dashboard. Okay, till week three we have updated, right? Yes. No, sir. Only till week two I have it actually. Okay, week two I think you are term student, right? Foundation level. Uh, no, no. I am actually continuing with the course, sir. Actually, after the qualifier. Uh, you are qualifier student, right? So no, qualifier I've done it. I am continuing this course after the break. Okay, yeah. Great. So I think yes, that is it. it means a foundation level student. So I think for foundation level student, they have not updated the week three score yet. Okay, okay. I will check Thanks. with the team. I have told multiple times, sure. but still okay. Uh, yes, sure. someone. Yeah, I, I have a did assignment of week four. Okay. Four. Week four, which question? Five. Five. Yes. Three so there is one update regarding week four. Question number. Uh, four, five, and seven. We are giving marks to everyone for those four questions, for those three questions. Yeah. Five. Because those. And... No, four, five, four. and seven. Uh, seven, yes. Seven also have problem because that yes. is that is ambiguity is there. So yeah, we are giving marks to all for question number seven. Question number five also uh, similar issue is there because uh, mm -hmm. if we change the order, it may give a different count. So we cannot guarantee and. Question number five. Yes, so uh, there is one criteria like a uh, consider was W A S, but in this case also word is followed by a vowel, but still it is getting counted, right? So that should not be the case for a particular word. It is getting satisfied, so that's why uh, none of the options are correct. So that's why we are giving marks to all. So there's some corner cases we miss. So that's why we are giving marks to everyone for this question. Okay, so okay. four, five, and seven. So don't worry about it. Sir, I have doubt. In the question, could you explain? Like, I got like okay. wrong. Okay. Which question number? Mark number. Question number ten. Wait, wait, Aman. Um, um, question number ten, right? Yeah. Grade assignment four, right? Right. Okay. Question number ten. Okay, let me share my screen. Now tell me, question number ten. What is your doubt in this question? Could you explain it? Okay. So, so the code is executed using the word data set. What A will represent, right? So A and B is zero, right? Um, yes. My cursor is visible. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. So A and B is zero. P is true. Q is false. So while table one has more rows, okay. Read the first row in table one. What it's checking if part of which equals to equals to adverb and p equals n p right? What is the value of p initially? True, right? True. True. If part of which is verb adverb and p is true, it means we are going to update uh, this p and q, right? Yes. So p will be false and q will be true. Okay. If part of which is not adverb, then what we are doing? We are going for else block, right? Yes. Else means what? Not Q, but what is Q initially? False. false. So yes. not of false. What not of false will give me? True, sir. True, right? So if this is true, then I am going to increment A, right? Yes, so yes. when I am going to increment the A? Wait a second. Wait. Uh, actually, oh, why these two uh, like booleans are we are using P and Q? So there are two. Cases first, my first word itself is an adverb. Okay, second, mm -hmm. my first word is not an adverb. Okay, so let us check for both condition. First, for example, my first word itself is an adverb. Okay, so in that mm -hmm. case, what will happen? Part of which equals to adverb, right? This is true, and true. p is also true, right? Yeah. So it means and p equals to false, q equals to true, right? Here we are okay, updating it. So I don't need to do anything with the else block. Right. Then I will right. go for this if block. 
X dot mm -hmm. word ends with full stop. Uh, no, suppose no. Then we are going. Uh, suppose that is not a case. Then we are moving X to A. So are we mm -hmm. uh, incrementing the A here? No. No. So first adverb is not getting considered, right? Yes. Yeah. Suppose my first part of speech is not an adverb. Say for example, verb. Then part of speech equals equals to verb. It is false, right? Yes, sir. Then mm -hmm. I'm going for else block. Yeah. But I am not. Uh, what is Q here? Q is, uh, Q Q is false. 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 false right? yeah. Not of false will be true, right? True. So, so in that case, we will increment if the value of A. Yes. Yes. So if the first, uh, like uh, first time we, when we were uh, using this while loop, let's suppose in first time we got a adverb, at that time we make that P is true. Okay, Q we are making true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And okay. So first adverb we are not considering, right? Yeah. Like first letter is adverb itself. In that case, it will not get increment, right? Right. Now, suppose uh, first letter is verb, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, in that case, uh, A will get increment, right? So, yes. Uh, can we write a sentence then? Uh, yes, that better. will be better. Okay, let me take an example. Uh, Okay. Just write down. No, no, so I have taken the screenshot, but I don't know why it is not coming in the yeah. window tab. Uh, okay, let me check. Sir, I have a, a general question. Is it okay mm -hmm. if I ask now? Uh, just let, let me uh, complete this. Let, let me this. Okay. Question number 10. Huh? Yes. So, for example, uh, we have first any word. We are interested only part of speech. I'm writing part of speech only. Okay. Yeah. Yes. U.S. is for adverb. And then is verb. And then we have uh, adjective or verb. And then adverb. Okay. So, case one. And case two is except adverb anything. Okay. Verb. Then second word can be adverb. And here it is full stop. For example, it is full stop. Okay. Uh, yes. It does not take full stop here because uh, say here full stop. And verb adject adverb and this is say adjective and here also full stop. Now go for a case one adverb. So first is part of speech equals to adverb and p equals to true, right? True. Yes. Sir. So this is will get updated. So p is false and q is true, right? We are not going yes. to do anything with this. Right? Yeah, that time we won't. Then go for this if block. That word ends with full stop? No, right? No. 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 So are we going to increment this A? No, right? No. Move X to table 2. Then go for a next while loop. Next is verb. Yeah. Is this a part of please mute as a background noise is coming? Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So in the next iteration, what will happen? Verb, right? So yes. part of speech is verb. False. It will yes. go for else block. Right? Yes, sir. But from yeah. previous iteration, what are the values of P and Q? Q is for P equals false, false and Q is true. Not of true or not of Q will be what is the not of true? What it will give? It will it will it should be false. False. So are we incrementing that? No. Right. No. Right. Yeah. So when this we are going to increment the value of A, tell me, because we are interested in A. When we are going to increment A? Uh, after we... full stop. Like if we, when if this, this, when this A will get in... increment, just tell me. When this A will get increment, when this particular condition is true, right? Yeah. Yes. So when Q is false, when Q is false, then it will get incremented. So not of Q false must be true, right? It means Q must be false. Right. Yes. Are you getting my point, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So when this Q will be false, 
just see the code first thing is that when ends with full stop q is false right yeah, yes that time. this is sure so whenever my words ends with full stop q will be uh, false and after that my next word uh, will be counted right because yeah. after this iteration only q will be false na so next word after the full stop right yes sir. which is which is not satisfying this condition yeah right right hmm. so if you go to the options uh, what are the options just go to the options answer for this first sentence should be number of zero. words before the first adverb or full stop in the first sentence right every sentence is for this sentence uh, answer should be uh, value of a will be zero na that's my question no no number of words before the first adverb right or full stop in every sentence whenever yes. there is a full stop in every sentence we are going to change the value of q right yes sir to, yeah we or, are right yes mm -hmm. sir but so, problem here is sir uh -huh. uh, we are not like after if this sentence will end then mm -hmm. we are not uh, like reassigning a is equal to 0 because huh. it should be for every sentence na uh otherwise it will after first sentence okay, whenever we will get adverb or other word we won't change it uh, no so q will be false only when there is a word after the full stop right sentence is of, like q over. false right and this will be uh, true so i don't want this to be true i want this to be false right this will be false only when this particular yeah, condition is false. not Correct, right? Yes. Sir. Part of speech is not an adverb. Yes. So if you go through the options carefully, number of words before the first adverb, okay? It's the first adverb. That's why I've taken at this condition, okay? Suppose, uh, let us take for this particular verb. Now, part of speech equals to verb. This is basically false, right? So we'll go for else block. But initially, the yeah. value of uh, P is true only, right? Is true, but Q, sorry, Q is false only, right? It means yeah. not Q will be true. Then, yeah. Right? Then you so number of words it. after the first adverb or the uh, end of like uh, no, full stop that will get counted as a A. Okay. So you just need to check whenever this Q is getting false, then only not Q will get true. Okay. Sir, the first uh, first word which is adverb. P is also true, right? Because you are starting, you are initializing huh. P as true. Right. So you will be directly setting the P as false and Q as true. Q as Else true. will not be executed. Yeah, else will not be executed. Then go for if block. This not ends with full stop, right? Go for a next iteration. Verb not satisfied. Go for else block. But Q is here what? From the previous iteration? Q is true. So not executed, true, right? Yeah. yeah. So go for a next hmm. iteration. That is execute Q. So what is what is required here in order to get a Q? We, we false. want a Q to be false. Q to be yes. set to false. Yeah. So either the X dot must be end with full stop. This is for sure, right? Or yes. number of yes, words. It, it, it should be the, the first adverb. adverb. First adverb or uh, any adverb which is after the full stop. Uh, before the first adverb, I am saying before the first adverb. If it is a first adverb, then we are not going to increment anything. Okay. Anything, let's let's right. solve for this. Okay. Let us take this case only, right? Adverb is there. True. True. P false. Q true. Okay. This is not going to execute. Not ending with full stop. Mm -hmm. Not going to execute. Go to a right. next while loop. Verb, right? Mm -hmm. Value of P is false and Q is true because we updated, right? In the previous iteration. Correct. Anyway, this is false, right? Because it is not an adverb. Correct. We go for else block. Not of Q will be false only because uh, Q will be true, right? So we are not right. going to increment. Doesn't end with full stop. Then go for next iteration. That will be adjective, right? Same. Is yeah. adjective? No. So, but value of P and Q will be still false. False and yeah. Q true, okay? Because we are not update for the first iteration. We'll go for else block. Still, it is not get incremented, right? Then go for yeah. a if block ends with full stop. Yes, p equals to true, q equals to false. Right? Yeah. Now go right. for a next word. Verb, right? Verb, right?
so this is not true go for a else block but what is the condition of p and q here after the full stop p is true and q is false right after the full stop yeah. then we are going for a next what verb so this will get counted right right so first word after the full stop or first word before the this adverb okay because here we don't have any uh, uh, word before the adverb yeah. so first word is adverb only yeah. now go for this particular criteria same thing i will also add verb after the full stop now check for this now it is a verb right yes sir mm -hmm. okay. this is false go for else block but initially it is true on uh, q first so it will it will get counted right yes, this sir. one then, Okay, got end with full stop. No, go for a while loop. Again, part of speech is what adverb. This is true, but what is the value yes. of p here? It is p equal to true, true only, right? P true. Yes. Sir. Again, we are going to update this, right? Yes. False. Yes, sir. So first word before the adverb only will get counted. Okay, are you getting my point? Or after the full stop. So correct option is that only. What is which is even? Okay. So yes. Number of words before the first adverb or full stop in every sentence. Okay. Sir. Okay. So uh, just try to take few examples question. and uh, yes, tell me. Uh, like my assumption was uh, we will print this for every sentence because in the last it is written that in, in every sentence. So I thought in every sentence we will uh, count how many words are before adverb. That's why yeah, I so thought it's wrong is because no. we are not no, no. initializing a in the last of uh, a is equal to zero. No, in the no, last no, of no. the sentence. Yes. Okay, just try to solve it one more time. Okay, any one more doubt? I am just taking uh, last doubt here. Yes, sir, I have a doubt. general question basically. So huh? I was noticing that in the mock questions, the level of difficulty is like much huh? more lower than the level of difficulty of week four uh, grade assignments. I will and tell you the reason that? because this mock question is uh, three terms old. Okay, so we are using this mock from last three terms only, and we are in increasing the level of the question every term, right? So same mock okay. has been released for last three terms, so that's why you can see this thing. So yeah, so the level of difficulty will be more or less like the week four graded. Uh, week four or yes, yeah. It will be a mix of this. Like most of the question will be similar to graded and practice assignment question only. So don't worry about it. But if you have so practice assignment graded assignment question uh, by your own all the questions, then you understand the concept. Then there is no issue. You can score very good marks. Sir, okay. Just practice uh, uh, practice assignment question graded assignment question. That's it. Oh, uh, yes, tell me. I have a general question. Uh, actually, uh, they are not updated my. Third week, fourth week marks in the dashboard. Ah, it is not updated. You are foundation level student, right? Not a qualifier, yes, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so don't worry. Uh, I think uh, I just take today. Though, like, they have updated week three for, for qualifiers and uh, week three and week four is pending for foundation uh, level. Okay. So they will update. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Sir, I have just... Which? Can you... Hello? Long. You are not audible. Can you repeat? Sir, question number three mock test. Please. Question number three mock test. Uh, Pawan, I have already discussed that uh, question. Uh, any specific doubt you have in that code? Uh, you are not audible. Uh, can you? Uh, is it for me only for others also? Okay, I think he left. Okay, so yeah, so that's it from my side. Okay, so all the best, everyone, for uh, quiz one can qualify. So it's similar to practicing it assignment question only. Okay, just practice it, that will be enough. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Uh, bye bye. Have a nice day. Good night. Good night, sir.